Hey buddy, how you doing? Alligators have a specially designed eyelid to see underwater. He can see me perfectly clear. Yo, this guy's this gonna juvenile die. Guy <laughs> is so I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Love me? You love me? All right, y'all. So love I'm you guys. Stay you safe out there, bro. You just walked up on um, like ten apex yeah, predators. Well, you so <laughs> Man, he's barefoot too, right? Like <laughs> full full disclosure, we rolled earlier, and it was my dumbass that didn't record this camera. So now we're here in the booth. It was only like thirty seconds of banter. You didn't, you didn't miss much. That banter was so good. Though. It was really I mean, good. We may, um, but actually, if you watch Ted Lasso, uh huh, banter is a dating app on Ted Lasso. Wow. And uh, yeah, is and it based off of how good your back and forth conversation is? I I don't really know. I, I forget. But uh -huh. like, it's like they're the sponsor for the team. Mm. Uh, so, but yeah, um, yeah. So, episode two, episode this two. This is a long story, long mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know what? In the thirty seconds, I said podcast yes. instead of show. Instead so of maybe show. this is actually better. But, yeah, um, exactly. And yeah. and I did mention this before, but now I'm like, y'all are looking at a logo on the screen if you're watching this. It's, it's yeah, it's just scrolling it's, mm -hmm. as we. As if you're listening to this, well, thank you for listening to this too, and and you can check out the logo probably on one of our social medias. Um, but leave a comment down below what you think about the logo. We've been testing out some different variations, and uh, I really like this one. I really like. Yeah, the, I just I hope appreciate this is the how much that we're looking influencer at. you are. Oh, thank you very much. Like you know, you're just, I'm I I would forget and and for the longest time because you know I'm uh, I'm older. It's uh -huh. like it's like ah uh, social media. I don't want to post to Instagram. Yeah. and you're just like like and subscribe, follow mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. my link tree, my mm -hmm. OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we. I kind of want to start have an OnlyFans like just at some point. It's so fun to say. It's so fun to say like, hey, check out our our OnlyFans. Our multiple people. Well, That's like fun. Bert Kreischer had his uh, had his um roast. On OnlyFans. Oh, that's so smart. So I actually kind of think that it's like gonna kind of uh, be. It's like so mainstream at this point, right? Yeah, and like no one really uses Patreon. Fuck so Patreon. It's like, yeah, <laughs> at some point. At some point, but it's yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. First, we need um, people to like and subscribe. One hundred percent. And Patreon, if you want to sponsor us, we love you. That's that's fine. We'll 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 talk shit about <laughs> OnlyFans, whatever you want. Uh, but so okay, today second podcast uh, we have a uh, first guest Jared Popkin. He's, uh, he's friend of the show, friend of the show, friend of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, like well, it, it's a uh, it's not like he's friend of me. Uh -huh, or uh -huh. He's my friend, or he's your friend. He's both of our. friends. He's both of our friends. So yeah. it's like he's like he was a friend of the show before the show even. That's started. true. That's true. It, it, in fact, he's probably one of the first listeners of the show because we sent him the test episode. And he liked it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know, that's in the that's a deep cut uh, mm -hmm. in in the uh, vault. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you know, if you pay, if uh, one day uh, we have a hundred episodes of these, you guys want to see the test zero episode? <laughs> maybe we'll release it. Yeah, Jared and my mom listened to it. Yeah. It was great. Um, Send us hashtag release the tapes so that nobody knows what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we just kind of wanted to you know quickly catch up because I know that you were busy the past like week and I was yeah. kind of busy and yeah, you know. You Absolutely. Were in Tampa. I was in Tampa. I was in your neck of the woods where well, you're not from Tampa. But my parents and my brother live there now. Oh, but that's I am hilarious. from South Florida. Wow, I was in the same place as your parents and brother. That's crazy. Yeah, you could have commiserated about the the, the rough draft. Yeah, the right. First, they would have been know, like, oh, that's mom. who you are. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Tampa's beautiful, man. Um the weather there, the one thing I notice is it changes very rapidly. Like it's cold, or like not cold, but like temperate and then all of a sudden within an hour it's like hot and humid and then it's gone again and it's rainy and i'm like i love it it's so bipolar i always say and you were there not during the summer you're there no. in the spring yes and it's like during the summer 402 p.m every day there's just a shower okay. it's gonna rain it's gonna rain so it's like what you do is you just a you accept that you're just gonna be sweaty <laughs> like okay. in miami that's yeah. why like Women, dudes, like no one wears anything. I noticed that. It's like not you can in Tampa, go to but the fanciest what? restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter for sure. They're wearing you, flip flops and a collar shirt, just, you, and that that spawns the ratchet <laughs> like I, I, ideals. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like well, I'm already wearing nothing, yeah. so I might as well, you know. Like, yeah, I don't know, but I'm uh, already lit. Yeah, I might as well go twerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you know there is a video? Uh, of me twerking that my friend has one. Some girl Holy convinced shit. me to, wow. to twerk after a night out. Wow. I, I didn't really do it well. Yeah. But like she taught me but how did to it. like, like, um, kind of like put my like all fours <laughs> against the wall. Oh, and shit. Then like, 
And like, you have, yeah, because I was like, what the hell? How do you even? And then she just kind of like was, yeah, you just got to do it. Love it. I mean, it's it's more about you know the energy you put see, into that would doing be it. On OnlyFans, yes, yeah, like a video of me twerking. Subscribe to our Not OnlyFans to really see Adam to see Levy that. twerk. I don't even want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay the top tier. We got to set it up. Uh, everyone's nipping at the bud, just waiting for that <laughs> shit to come out now. But yeah, um, so I think today will be pretty fun. Yeah, um, Jared, he he's like uh, you know pretty seasoned vet of comedy and yeah. acting and yeah. producing, it's fucking like, hilarious, went to Second City dude. and. You know, he's kind of, I've just known him for, I think we're 15 years almost. Damn, for sure. Long ass time. I'm sure you guys will maybe get into it, but like, you know, I've only known Jerry for maybe like five or four oh, years or some man. shit. All right. So then like, yeah, I yeah. mean, that's a third. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. even know, like, uh, <laughs> bro, I don't even know. You like, can't sit with us. I don't even know what his middle name is. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I, so I had a very eventful uh, last Past couple weekend. days, uh-huh. So- Mario Brothers. Yes. I yes. finally got to see it. Yes. Um, I was supposed to go with a friend. Uh, it didn't work out with that friend. And then I was like, like, hey, I was supposed to go to go. But like, you know, my friend's like, oh, we're going to go see it. Do you want to come with us? Sure. So Chinese uh, theater. Oh, hell yeah. It's in 4D. Damn. And... 4D. So for those who don't know, okay, so 3D, three-dimensional, you know, it pops out of the screen at you. 4D is like is that plus it moves. Like, yeah. It, it moves and shit. And then uh, do, does it does it spray sound uh smells at you too? Or is yes. it Yes. Oh my god. And it's like the smoke smell was hideous. <laughs> like I all of a sudden I was like, wait, we have to deal with like 4D, you know, smoke. Yeah, yeah. And it, it smelled my friend said it smelled like mezcal. Oh, that's hilarious. Which I'm like I love Mezcal. Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, not in a... I don't know if I want to smell it all when day? I'm in a movie theater. Yeah, that's fair. And, and then, but like, half of me was like, okay, if we're going to do 4D and there's water scenes, like, like we got to commit. Douse me. No Just get buckets. Way. No, no, no. Oh. I'm saying like, it's like, but it was like, they kind of like, you know, there wasn't even a spray or anything like oh. that. And then I feel like Bowser was like fighting or something. You'd get like hit in the back. Like, what on the, the chair. fuck? Okay. And you're like... This is just like I, like I go to a movie, yeah, to relax, yeah, 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 and this is like not immersive. wear a hoodie and be cozy, yeah, yeah, you know. And like this was like you're just not going to be comfortable the entire time, but it was still a great movie. The only thing I'll say about Super Mario Brothers, and this is not a spoiler, it's just there are two. There's a end credit scene, and then there's like a very end credit scene. Good to know that you should a hundred percent like okay, sit, just like. It's like very relevant. Look, or, I, it's not relevant to the film, but it's like just relevant to Mario Brothers. Oh, I love it. Uh, I, I I know because like I had my doubts because it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure we talked about this, but it's made by the same dudes that did Illumination, so it's like, um, Clone High guys. Or no, no, they didn't do. Oh my god, if it was the Clone High no, guys, sorry. I would have fucking loved that. Yeah, it's yeah, the Minions guys. Oh, okay. and you know the Minions are cool. I'm just come from the Pixar camp where I'm like, oh, I like a little bit of something with you know, like to think about and ponder about. But it's fucking Mario, you know. It's not the same thing. Yeah, they want you want to have fun. You want the references, and everyone that has I've talked to have said that the pacing is great. Like that, it's it's. I think that they're like they did the the only thing I'd say is that the writing choices. I think they kind of um took the easy route. Sure. But I think that's because it's kind of a kid's movie. It's their first one. Yeah. And honestly, when it does $500 million in like a week, oh my God. are you really it's not, not going to do one. another? But like, that's just sure. how things work Look, and movies yeah. work now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd go to that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, my friend gave me like a non-alcoholic drink. Shout out Darwin. He's just like a good <laughs> dude. He's awesome. He's a Hell friend. Yeah. He'll, I'll probably come on eventually. For but, sure. Um, he uh, is, gave me these like Kins. Which is like some non-alcoholic. There's like guarana and all these things that I don't like. Chemicals, elements. Uh -huh, yeah, I don't uh -huh, even know. Uh -huh. Yeah, like some alien life <laughs> sure. form. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. just like random things, you know, that sound good. I love taking good. random shit at the theater. Yeah. <laughs> but it kind of gets you, um, I wouldn't, you don't like get high or anything. Sure. But you get, you get like, feel like a little more elevated. Sure, it's like a little in, caffeine you know? or something. You yeah. Know? Oh, is this, uh, oh, my do not disturb went off because of Jared. Sorry. Hopefully that didn't disturb. All right. Anyway, if that if that stays in, uh, welcome to the to the little bloopers. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, so that like so we, I saw the Super Mario Brothers yeah. like on that. It was cool. Yeah, and uh, so that shit must have shook a lot, right? Because like I saw 4DX for Civil War, like Marvel Civil War, or whatever. Bad oh. choice. There was no smell for me, so I had technically 3.5x, right? Because like it's like come on, and all it did was like any time there was a shaky cam, my seat shook. 
Yeah. And fucking Civil War is shaky as hell. And I was just like, halfway through this Black Panther fight, I was like, oh my God, I'm over this. Please stop fighting. Like, yeah, it's like, you just like, you're fatigued yeah. after watching it. I don't yeah. know. I saw 4D for the first time in Rush, which Whoa. is a great yeah. racing movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. No? Oh. You're like, like it, oh, it was like, it was actually God. one that kind of had a little more 4D. It was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh man, like, I like, don't need to feel the car. Oh, like God. that's, yeah. But okay. It's an accident. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, he has to, he goes to, he wants to stop by like a friend's like birthday party or whatever. Mm. But I like tag along. Yeah. And they give oh, me yes. it's this. Bro. Yeah. I saw you having these earlier. No, this will work. <laughs> oh my God. But For those of you listening, this man has an amazing hat on right now. It's a fez. Uh-huh. And um, so I'll take it off for the sake of yeah. freaking, you know, the logistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so um, that was so much fun having a fez. Basically, it was the bir- the birthday party just gave out fezes to everyone. That's so great. And it was, it was like we were just all dancing around. They're super comfy. Yeah. I love the little tassels kind of hitting mm-hmm. you. It's kind of like almost, uh, it's like a good sensation. Just yeah. occasionally like, yeah. oh, it's almost like feels like nice. Yeah. Um, and everyone wanted one. People yeah. would just come up and be like, where'd you get these from? Can I have one? Like, I don't know. I'm not going to. It's yeah. not my place Fucking to say. Probably but, Amazon. Like, yeah. But. <laughs> Ended up, we went to two different, like, it was just like, we went dancing and stuff. That's and great. Like, the like I may just randomly go out some time with the with Fez. The fez? Again yeah. That's way less goes. obtrusive than, like, everyone wear matching shirts. Like Yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. It's a great party favor. You get to keep it. Like, I'm a little jealous. I saw it when I first came in, and I was like, what the fuck, a Fez? That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and I, the funny thing is, is I only know what a Fez is because of, Board Apes. Oh, really? Which is an NFT, like uh-huh, big uh-huh. one of the bigger NFT projects, and that's a trait. Oh. And everyone was like, "Oh, like I love the Fez trade or I hate yeah, it yeah, or whatever." Yeah. But it was just kind of funny that I like. Well, I, since you brought it up already, like, like for those watching, there's like some 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 decorations here. You know, we're trying to finesse a little bit and try to like <laughs> up the. We're definitely value. bootstrapping this yeah. a little bit, but we just you know we just wanted to get this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know. Would you not rather not be listening to this right now? Well, I got this at Nintendo okay. Land. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. So this was from from the you rode the ride. Yeah. How was how was that for you? It was cool. Yeah. Um. It was like kind of. It was. It was. It was like an hour and a half wait though. Ah. Uh, so I was so like, that you know, seems is to spoil it everything. Wait? Probably yeah. not. But it was yeah. cool. And apparently the cafe is awesome. But it was closed by the time that we. Uh, you got out and shit yeah. and we're yeah, yeah for sure for sure for sure. That's cool. All right, so so we got the board ape right here, who definitely looks bored. Like, let's let's. Yeah, that's lie. Jimmy. That's He's amazing. just chilling, being bored. <laughs> and then we got Guy Fieri, Guy Fieri. I think it's Fieri, um, Mr. T. Yeah. And then you said uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hogan. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my friend uh, is like a huge Funko collector, uh-huh, uh-huh. and he just has all, so it kind of got me into a little bit, and like, That's cool. occasionally you'll just, I'll go, I'll hang out with him or whatever, yeah. and, and he has his entire house, it's just like Funkos, Funkos. and shit, does so he I'll keep like, his in the box? What? Does he keep his Funkos in the box, or does he take them out? Uh, yeah, he keeps them in the box. Because I feel, there's like two groups, there's like, I'm never gonna take mine shit out of the box, what the fuck is wrong with you, and then there's the other one where they're like, I'm gonna take it out, what's the point of having it, you know? Yeah, like, I don't plan on, I'm not like reselling, reselling most it, of these, these some of these you. I like, and yeah. They kind of just are good, like almost like ornaments or. I like, agree. You know, like, I agree. Um, because they all match. You know, yeah. that's the cool and thing. And you could sell them still, just maybe yeah. for like you know half price or something. There you whatever. go. Um, but okay. Uh, and I feel like uh, I kind of just like having like a little bit of an intro you know, and yeah. stuff, and we're just getting ourselves yeah. going. Um, well, let me check and see if Jared has hit me up yet. Because uh. We to 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 tell you the truth, audience. We are we're we're getting our banter in on our intro in while waiting for Jared to come in. You know, so that you know you get a little bit of us before Jared comes in and steals the show, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um. But last speaking of stealing the show, last night, um, I got to go to one of my uh good friends, or uh, Lauren Mann. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh great producer. Mm-hmm. I kind of just unintentionally met her through like another friend. Mm-hmm. It, it's like all, it's like, I just have, I don't, I don't want to be like, Hey, like this person needs to come up past this person, but yeah. like they all should. Yeah. But, um, you're very well connected. I mean, yeah. I don't know if I'd go that <laughs> far, but like I have, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm friendly and yeah. Uh, so 
she had her movie premiere or not her premiere, but like her release. Love it for in LA, mm -hmm. and it's going national next week for wow. Joyland. Oh, okay, and uh, so it was just like it's a kind of a Pakistani film about oh. like kind of the patriarchy there. That's cool. I actually because there's a trans woman in there and uh -huh. i didn't realize that it was like i thought it was like in my head i thought it was like kind of about her but yeah. then the director was talking about how it was all kind of like from three different it's like the trans point of view the female point of view and the male point of view oh it's interesting and i was like this is like really deep yeah and for like sure. I, I mean i would definitely recommend it uh just to what's this out just to go check it out and right. it was really cool there was a q a and stuff and it was like just cool to like have like a friend who's yeah. actually like kind of you know. Doing shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joyland, y'all. Make sure if you if you have a chance to catch it in theaters or on streaming once it's out. Joyland, there you go. Um, that's cool. I, I was at the fucking. I was at um my friend who the reason why I was in Tampa. Yeah, was my uh my friend Will uh, fought in Creator Clash, and if y'all don't know what Creator Clash is, it's like. I didn't. Oh, you now, did I, now, now you I, do? <laughs> I start seeing some things about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, once you, they're once always you see listening. It, yes, you know? exactly. And then it just pops up. Um, it's essentially a boxing tournament made for influencers to fight each other, right? So it's like kind of taking what um, Jake Paul or Logan Paul did and like kind of just do ten matches instead of one. And so my friend was a last minute replacement. Um, literally, the, the, that's crazy, right? The literally the definition of last minute. It's he had. Like, if he he was contacted the May thirty first, and the event was the fifteenth, was was April fifteenth. So he had like two weeks, less than two weeks to train for this fight. We kept saying it was twenty one days, and then once we did the math, we're like, dude, you only have like fourteen days. Like, and he's like, damn, I I like undersold myself. But spoilers, he won. Like he beat the dude. Um, and That's like it, it's it's crazy, it's crazy. And he really tried really hard. And so you know, a lot of people were saying like, but he, Will is is like six inches taller than the guy, right? And so that the does, reach, yeah, yeah, the reach is crazy. But man, he was training for nine months, bro. Like nine months versus two weeks is kind of crazy, you know. And and a lot of people don't know how Will William Haynes the way I know him. I went to film school with him. He has never been hit in his life. He has never been punched before. He is a soft boy. You know, he um he used to never curse until he reached the age of 22. He would instead of saying, "Oh my god," he would say, "Oh my Gandhi." Like that's him, you know? <laughs> so it's just like he if if you had told me when I first met him that this dude would be knocking someone out I wouldn't believe it. So you're like super thrilled. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. can kind of see it like you're elated, which is <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's really cool. <laughs> I mean, I think I've only been in a couple fights in my life. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think I've won one and lost one. There you and go. it's like when you get hit for the first time, you're like, it, it, it really rocks you. Like, yeah. obviously, but. Man, and I have, I filmed him training and like he would, he did not take it very well. <laughs> he did not take the hitting well. He would. He was he was training in front of real boxers and he would just faint and fall on the floor before he finishes the round and everyone would start <laughs> laughing at him and he's like I'm dying I'm dying Oh man <laughs> that's got to be tough like I definitely have a little bit of like social anxiety when it comes to that yeah, where yeah. it's just like I know I'm going to really really suck like when I'm working out or whatever it yeah. is and it's like but you have but I guess in that case you just have you don't care cuz it's like more important that you just do, do well exactly in that you know like all right whatever this guy's like you're like i i this is going to be bigger than whatever these couple people are seeing now yeah 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 exactly and 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 even after all that like even after they witnessed all that i went to them on like the last day before we flew out and i was like what do you guys think you think he's gonna win and they were like not a doubt and i was like holy shit for real i was like okay all right dude. all right <laughs> Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, I think uh, Jared's probably gonna yeah, I'm arrive like, pretty soon. Yeah, we can so pause right here and, and, and we'll and, pause. Yeah, and went right when he picks up. Yeah. Oh, so he's going no pause. No. Head yeah, 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 yeah. And I got I'm, a, I'm quick draw. Oh, I'm he's like quick draw ones. McGraw. He's got yeah. good ears, so yeah. he's good. Yeah. I actually have terrible ears. <laughs> I have terrible hearing. I should wear a headphone. I mean, I have some uh, not great hearing. Well, fuck, man. John, I don't you know. Great, I don't John, know. I feel like you have great hearing. My hearing's my hearing's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. My sight switch sucks. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I have like, re are we are we rolling? Yeah, or? we're rolling. Oh, this shit. is. Well, um, I feel like <laughs> I should. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> we're go. rolling, but we're okay. Um, yeah, this is just a hearing podcast. All we do is talk about how bad our hearing is. Yeah, man. Or or good. Or good. Yeah. Yeah. We um, do hearing tests and yeah. sound tests. ASMR tests. 
Yes, uh, potatoes, potatoes. Oh, wow. I don't know. That sounded good. <laughs> yeah, I'd tune in for potatoes. <laughs> it's really potatoes. Yeah, I mean, like potatoes. <laughs> it's like the ASMR. That's such a crazy trend because they like, they'll just use like I get like it. like the like almost like play doh or something, some sort of like plasticky oh, like goo, oh, sure. and they'll just go like, <laughs> and then yeah, you're yeah. like, this sounds great. I don't like the gooey ASMR. Yeah, but, but there are some ASMRs that definitely work yeah. on me. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I don't really tune in for ASMR. Like, I don't mm. go searching for it. Yeah. But when I when I come across it, when it happens, I guess that's nice. This is super yeah. Cool. All right, so hey. what's up, Jared? What's up, guys? This wow. is Jared Popkin. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to put it. sound effects. I'm, put a- I'm stoked to be here. I love you both. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy because we, we actually uh, did a little like preamble to this. Uh, that's his word. I don't use it. I've never used his first time. I used preamble. it. You used it, it, so I'm like, it you know. But it like, right. you know, Yeah, I mean, yeah. it happens. Uh, I actually really liked it. Thank but you. I actually like, like, I make a point of when I actually use a word for the first time. Oh. Like it, and it just kind of like, it like How materializes. What's the, what's the latest one that you've used? Probably preamble. preamble. Yeah. Okay. But like, there was like <laughs> one time I used like fulcrum. Or like oh. fulcrum or whatever, where it's like you're like the um, kind of like the foundation of something. And I was like, I where did this that. come from? Was an wow. out of body experience? Maybe you got drunk and like read a book. Whoa. I don't know. And you like blacked the- out, and you read a book, and you only remember that fulcrum. word. Fulcrum. It sounds sci-fi. ASMR. <laughs> I was about to say we're back in ASMR. Yeah, I see yeah. what you guys are doing. Yeah. So yeah. Jared, uh, you know, I've known him for. It. <laughs> I actually you said we were counting years. last night. Yeah, yeah. It was 15, fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah, because you, you said uh, it was two thousand eight. Like, because wow. I I had just come back from the Helmuth hand, I think Queen you're right, Ten, yeah. and it wow. was like I, he was the first person that I and actually I don't I mean you kind of know about it because yeah, yeah we but, produced that yeah that's another story so yeah <laughs> uh, man we have we could literally just do a twenty four hour podcast right now one hundred percent let's just do a telethon yeah, yeah that's yeah. what this is actually surprise like waters yeah no yeah like, you got okay. coffee oh it's yeah, like yeah. one of these kind it's of one challenges of these. This is a, yeah this is a and survival. an ASMR podcast. yeah everything so you guys are really hitting the hashtags this is for yeah, we, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, but Do I so, get to choose my charity? Or you no, choose? no, no. It's, okay. it's for oh, me. Yeah. It's my charity. Right. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Your char- charity for John Ross. Yes. Charity. <laughs> that sounds like a really legitimate charity that charity I'm sure Ross? will go to a good cause. Look, John Ross, John is, Ross a, is a good cause. It's an official all, sounding all kidding name. Is that I would trust John. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah I you. agree. Yeah. Um, but yeah. so yeah, I just kind of was like, like we both are friends with you. You're the perfect. You know, yeah. first guest to come on here. Yeah, um, you also love. You're, yeah. the, you're a test zero audience member. Wow, I, yeah. I, I yeah. was test yeah. zero. I uh-huh. actually really like what you guys are doing. <clears throat> oh man, well, thanks. Solid. Yeah, I mean, we just have fun. It's a uh, kind of riff, and and sometimes uh, there have been multiple times where I've been thinking a word, and he just says that word. Wow, it's already like, happening. Yeah, damn. Like I know we're we're Whoa, ready. Preamble. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> He's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah at the same time. Uh, no, that's sick. I mean, when you guys met, I just knew it would be easy. You're like, I was telling this. To Wait, Adam, uh, hold on. What? New word. I'm, it was kismet. kismet. Never used that before. It was kismet. The fuck yes. is that? It's like, like it's, it was just meant to be. Oh. Yes, it was meant kismet. to be. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Damn. I know. Yeah. Kismet. It's like a meat cute. Yeah. yeah. It was it was essentially a very And I know movie. I've never used that word before in my life. Kismet? No. Me we, neither. We did the poker seen. thing. Yeah. We hired John and all of his team to, yep. to run the show and do the show. Which that was, was fun. Awesome. John was running the It was so cool cuz like um and most I mean a lot of people know that I played poker forever. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I still do, mm-hmm. you know, here and there, but it was a moment where we were able to take in all these, you know, like you, it was like four or five of you guys, and yeah. then I got to walk you through like the World Series of Poker. That shit was cool. And it's like there's like the chips chirping. It's almost like meditative hearing that. Yeah, for the I first love that. Time. Yeah. And it's like it, I felt like you. I mean, maybe it was because I was high and smoking a little weed, but it was just like everyone was yeah. just so <laughs> like fascinated with like this existing. Like these guys are just sitting here. Oh, that was such poker. a cool oh, part yeah, of it yeah. when yeah. we got to just go watch the tournament. Hold on, oh, but then yeah. there was like I was like taking you guys in and then there was like one uh I was like trying to I was like in like this kind of like I was glowing and I was asking everyone and I was like, hey, like let me ask like this one random guy like uh you know who I've known kind of for a while like hey what um so like what do you like why do you play poker? And he's like, Well I got a kid <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, I got to make money. I was like, oh, well, okay, maybe maybe I like that uh, glow that I have is not for I'm everyone. I'm fascinated by these poker guys that can even answer that on. It's like, <clears throat> you're so good at poker to look at gambling like you can support your family 100%. For real. This just work. That poker yeah. game is so, when you get to the high level of it and you talk to those dudes, you, we all know, I mean, you know, for mm -hmm, real, you're mm -hmm. the player. It's insane the intelligence that it requires to be like, a top level poker player. 100%. Well, it's also like the patience, and, and like it, it, it's a weird skill set because, like, yeah, you can be intelligent, but there have been plenty of very intelligent people who I've seen try to play poker, and they don't have these other emotions or, oh, or like absolutely. emotional control, or or they don't. They it's don't. It's definitely uh, a specific kind of yeah. thing. And I've always thought of poker like you're having a conversation with chips. Oh, so shit. like. You're having a conversation with money. That's really how yeah, I've yeah. thought of the game, kind of, from my POV. And I'm like, dude, these guys are just the best at conversating. Wow, like, just, I've never, like, I've never heard it like said like that's that. So that's poetic. a cool little like that would have uh, been, yeah. you would, that would have been something a character in Flush would have said. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we even um me and me and John during the pandemic or Maybe. John and I, I don't yeah, know, whatever. But uh, I knew what you meant. Yeah, you knew what you <laughs> yeah. meant. Uh, we like so that was actually that was a f interesting time. So. I literally moved in with a friend two weeks before, like as a roommate. I knew him for like about a year, but it was like when I did games and grooves and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, yeah. I moved in with him Not and with, then the oh, pan with, a, with, with Sean yeah, and yeah. then the pandemic hit. <laughs> like it just hit. Literally. So I was like, I know you, but like I don't know you You're like hey, pandemic know, know you. You. Yeah. you know? But so what ended up happening was I just played poker all the time online and he'd just come in and be like, What is going on? Uh, you know, it. and eventually it was kind of like drawn into like this is kind of fascinating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then um Did you start playing? Uh yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It was hilarious. He had like a little like cash for like ten dollars and super yeah, you know, like but getting after yeah. it. <laughs> So I like, but I remember meeting with John right before the pandemic about doing like a poker thing. Yeah. Well, and we, you mentioned this idea to us when we first worked together with Jared on the poker yeah. ghost show. I don't know if we can say yeah. poker ghost yeah. show. But, and then you were like, man, it'd be cool to make a, a movie out of my life. And I was like, and then you came in with like a, like so many notes and so many pages. <laughs> and I was like, bro, this is not a movie. Like this is a series at least like so many things. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It was like the uh, Google doc. Of yeah, yeah. I've and always and thought, yeah. Like since the, I, I, it's just a good solid fit. You two. For a yeah. Lot of You're going to do cool movies and yeah. limited. I mean, we, we, we did make a short of, of it looked great. I thank you. It. Thank yeah, you. It, it was awesome. It was, I mean like, Torian well, was in it, right? Yeah. Torian, yeah. yeah. Torian yeah. was the, he was a star. Torian in killed it. it. Yeah. Torian Dude. was the main character. Yeah. Shout out. Torian. Torian, yeah. I mean, and, and now he was in uh, Fire Island last year. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Killing it as a casting director. Yeah. He texted out. me right before I got here, and I didn't text him back. Ooh, I just realized. Oh, no. Right oh, God. By but the time this is he out, won't I know. will have texted him, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, you know okay. I mean? that That's good. That's I'll good. beat him to this moment. All right, So, sure. Jared. What's up? I don't know. I just want to say so. Jared. I liked it. It <laughs> really <laughs> was like. It's like such a, like, uh, you know, like, so Jared. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Um. I've known Jared forever. Yeah. Like 15 years. Yeah. So yeah. I met him at Camp Coleman. Holy shit. And which is like a old Jukan. like yeah, it's a it's a my brother's actually like one of the the heads of uh that. He runs Coleman now? He's like assistant director, maybe Sick. like second or third in command. His brother was an awesome camp counselor. Oh yeah. 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 And so what happened was I guess I I came back from this this uh the World Series of Poker and he's like running the cabin the the entire like group of kids that are like you know it's a sleepaway camp so mm -hmm. it's like 15 kids oh, in, shit. in, in ca 12 kids 12 kids all right you know I mean, all right. at most uh, i would say yeah and he's just like uh like he's not technically a counselor You're, but the there's, counselor's a, like, there's a word for it but long story short it's uh long story long oh. uh, counselor and training basically oh uh, so yeah and the TA. way yeah but the yeah. way you get counsel you've gone to camp your whole life as a kid mm -hmm. so when you're a counselor in training they kind of swindle you it's like a fr you don't get paid but you don't pay i, I think you did pay actually what the i don't fuck? i don't i don't know <laughs> maybe a little maybe it's sometimes not as much. it was like you you were supposed to work but not work you're like a counselor in training yeah. it's like it's like being the oldest camper sure sure <laughs> but sure, then sure. this year they were like no we're gonna put these kids in the bunk full time with the kids and the counselors oh, okay 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 yeah like for whatever reason i just have an image of like jared on like the bottom bunk like just like arising from like bed like for like because i was only there for two weeks yeah, yeah, yeah i just was like hey like cause it was a four week 
Okay, yeah, that, was, so, that was my next question. Yeah, it was yeah. eight weeks, and they do two sessions of four weeks, and then, like, I just finished, and I was like, hey, do you guys need help with counselors? And they Love were it. like, yes. Wow. So I came in, and he was literally the first, like, person outside of, like, any, like, any, like, family member or, like, you know, like, friend outside of poker that I told, because this, this Helmuth hand, yeah. the Queen Ten hand, yep. is uh, what, I mean, I got, like, people to this day still. Infamous. Talk mm-hmm. to me about it, and I'm like 17 years old. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, you just did what? This is- <laughs> <laughs> like, Bro, that's so crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. it was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like that kind of happened, and then like we just went on about our lives. But like you know, we kind of kept in touch a little bit. Also, he, 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 there's so many Popkins. I guess oh, there's yeah, like yeah. We he's got his oh, brother, and then like his cousins, and there's like you know, I was actually um his uh. Er, Tyler and Cody cousins, yeah. That that was yeah counselor. Tyler, I Hopkins. was their counselor, so it's kind of like there's these uh you know roots. Shout out just, to wow. Yeah, there's so, like nine of us that went to this. Yeah, class so five. ended up like nine of the twelve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like there's like nine Popkins that went. Yeah, of the yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. Like even if you're not really in touch with a Popkin, you're yeah. still seeing what's going on with like the Popkins some way. Sure. Like on From social media. From the Juke perspective, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the Popkins, it's, yeah. yeah the, so funny. So eventually, like I just like went up to like Chicago one time for like a poker tournament, and like uh, I th- I don't even know if I saw you there, but you were like in you were going to Second City at the time, mm-hmm. which is like big. Yeah, I mean, most so much respect to that. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it, because like you're you were nineteen. <laughs> yeah, I dropped out of school, dude. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't doing. I wasn't. I wasn't like mature enough to be in school really. Mm. Like I just wasn't at a place in my life yet to be like appreciative of what school is. That's well, fair. that's exactly why I failed out. Yeah, yeah. I was like, like I you know what? I'm deliberately it. gonna not pass these classes. <laughs> right. But, yeah, yeah, I just wasn't good at it. But I, uh, I bounced out of school after two semesters with zero credits. Love I it. just sold a ton of weed there. Fuck yeah. Dude. And uh, shout out to <laughs> FAU, though. I mean, oh, they it, killed it. They, they, they crushed went, it this they year. Went deep this yeah, year. Yeah, I know. Go Owls, baby. I wasn't, I think maybe me dropping out was part like a butterfly effect of wow. them getting into the final four. Hey, you know what? For sure. I'll let everyone know that Jared had a hand in that. Yeah, yeah. The, wait, they're the, F, they're the Owls, the yeah. fighting Owls. Uh, is it fighting? I like that. I don't know, but I, it's I mean, just it's hilarious owls, that an owl is a mascot to me. I love owls. They're dangerous, man. Did they just, whenever there's a basketball, they just go, whoo? Ooh, like, well, I think that? Owl's a dope logo for things. Like I think Drake owls really do look cool. got it with OVO right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ooh, yeah, cool. you're right. Ooh. Uh, but um, where was I? Fuck. I don't know. Long no, t- we just. Oh, and that, that's why that was one of the possible uh, podcast names. I'm sorry. What, what were we saying? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I got it though. I got it. Yeah. So yeah I dropped see? out of college, um, and then I moved to Chicago at 19 because I had, my my mom's side is from there originally, so I. Had gone and done like boot camps there when I was a kid. Oh, okay, okay. So I knew I liked it, Second yeah, yeah. City. Um, when you drop out of school, it was like, what do I do? You know. So yeah. then I basically moved across the country and just like that's sick, man. Did comedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine was way like I dropped out of film school, but everyone drops out of film school, so it's almost like you have to. Yeah, I think you should just <laughs> go for enough and then yeah, bounce. That's literally. I was like, oh, I'm done. Yeah. I've absorbed everything already. <laughs> yeah, and look, I mean, it worked out for you. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. a little bit. And you're a great filmmaker. <laughs> Thank you very I much. I don't think with the arts, it's weird. It's like, of course, school in any professional help, but like the arts, you don't need school. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You need to get working. I've never been you asked if reps. I have a bachelor's degree. Like they're yeah. just like, let me see your work. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> you need reps. You just yeah. need yeah reps. reps. Yeah. However you can get them in the beginning. It's exactly. Like, do whatever Lots works. of free work back in the day. It. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But free mm-hmm. work at a certain age, I know this is going to sound terrible, but like free work and like internships, that shit is fucking needed for it's you. Really wait, 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 wait. Can I curse? The, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This, is, yeah this, isn't, this isn't radio. I, I was or, like, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to make a joke <laughs> that you don't need a, if you go to a ma- uh, get a bachelor or master's, you still are not going to know what Video Village is. That's That's a callback. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and I do have friends who have graduated and have are lost in a production environment. They have it in theory. I didn't know what it was until I was on set, and I was like, "This makes complete sense." Yeah, right, right, right. You know, when our client didn't know that. <laughs> oh my god! Eight months of notes. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. A guy that doesn't know what Video Village is is insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Whatever. Well, whatever. Par for the course. Yeah. But no, no, I was just. I just thought it was like a good little like spot to you know. That's a funny little video villages. Oh yeah, video like, villages. Cool. 
It's the best. Yeah. If you, I, it sounds like I want to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, are we gonna go to Video Village soon? I did. So I walked by a really uh, shout out Red Chris. Well, Red. actually, oh, for yeah. the people who don't know, oh sure, okay, we can't. You know, like, uh, we can't assume that they know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, Video, Village Video Village is basically is. when you have like, uh, and I'll try to explain it. Okay. Yeah. Not, yes, I love yeah. So basically, when you have like all different types of like uh, like a phone, a laptop. Or like camera, so you can see all different points of view to see what the right shot is for each. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like are just device. Overviewing the feed from all the cameras. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In real life, when you're making something like, if we shot a movie right now in this room about yeah. podcasters yeah. or whatever, like the director is not going to be standing in here being like, no, you know, he's going to be watching from another yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. You know, monitors and technically, like I'm video villaging myself with this guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That yeah, is. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's just a basic term that. Obviously, regular people don't have to know, but like if you were uh, claiming to be in like any film related thing, you would definitely know. Yeah, I remember like being DP for a director who like paid, like he had a lot of money, and I remember being like, "All right, cool, whatever you want to do, man, it's your it's your cash." And I remember being like, "All right, guys, this is the martini shot," and then he's like, "What's a martini shot?" You know, final shot, by the way, very loud. Yeah, (laughs) and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like, and people started laughing uh, on set. I was like, "Oh no!" I mean, dude, you'll get those people somehow. They find their way on to set. There you go. Yeah. What's the martini shot? It's just the last shot of the film. I'm oh, like, oh, ah, like, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do martini shot of the day, too. Mm. That's true. That's you know, true. Like, this is the martini shot for today. I don't know if they would. I don't drink, though. So I think but, it's really made for the last part of it. I yeah. think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. And, and film lingo is fucking like, it's all over the place. Like, Yeah, it's there's a lot like, of random shit. Yeah. Certain yeah. things. Well, actually, on the last podcast, we were talking about sayings. And I mentioned Screw the Pooch, how, like, it's oh, literally yeah. it's just, like, a dude on uh, from, like, NASA who, like, he was just watching a uh, a shuttle launch or there was a Wait, mistake or something. you can trace that saying back to a person? Yeah, I, this is what I was saying. I wanted to start a podcast that was just figuring out sayings. That and, like, actually the, is hair a of the dog. Idea. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> it, well, it gets even better. I came up with, with a uh, someone I was on a date with. <laughs> we were like, we're going to start a podcast. But it didn't work I out. I mean, if this ASMR but, thing works out, maybe you can fund it. Yes, yeah. So I mean, but it's a you screwed know the pooch. But yes, yeah, so <laughs> screwed. Apparently, he's like, yeah, they say that a lot on set. <laughs> there's definitely director <laughs> like, types just, like, that like sayings. Will, that, that just... like, there's a, a Venn diagram that where the director will speak in those kind of like uh, sayings, and then they're also you know, it's like they're an old timey director. Like, ah, oh, we screwed the pooch on that one. You know, it's like they're <laughs> definitely. I, mean, I feel like that's just like a type of person too. Like you go to, like, I feel like a, a certain you go to like the Northeast. Oh, sure. And there's just going to be like, they have like he five different stock yeah. sayings. <laughs> Screw yeah. the pooch. I haven't heard in years, probably. Yeah, yeah. Don't I, throw no, the I mean, out I, with the I, bath I, water. we should maybe bring it back. We should bring these back, maybe. I don't know. That one is a little How odd. How am I going to use it that I screwed the It's always me It's like you kick the up. can or something. Or no, kick the can down the road. What's that? Yeah. yeah. What the oh, fuck? We, were talking about, we were talking about last night Um, uh, Close Cigar. My dog, Trevor. Oh, yeah. What's up, Trevor? Hey, Trevor. Hey, uh, um, but close but no cigar. Close but no cigar. Sure. So I was like, "What's the origin You're of that?" You're so right. And it's like I think it's it's um, just like, hey, there were you know, the, it, or it was a ship, a championship. You know, maybe like, oh, you're close, but no cigar to smoke. Like after you win the yeah. World oh. Series. Oh. Cigar, you came close. I know. Yeah. yeah. Groucho. 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 Groucho was doing the talk show. Oh yeah, when Groucho was doing the talk show, he was talking about that. Uh, I like that the camera spins. Yeah, too. camera spins. Oh, all right. Caught me off guard. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like I'm nice. I'm on the corner. You're a little bit <laughs> uh, no. But yeah, no, Close Minnow Cigar. I think he came from the Groucho Marx talk show he used to have. It was like a game show he would do with like newlyweds. I don't know if it was newlyweds, but he had a game show he would do. And it was like, ah, you almost got it. Close Minnow Cigar. Wow. Like, oh, wow. Cigar. I can't believe we can trace shit like this. Bro, especially now with, with, with the internet, like, know your meme. Like, uh, any anything that is said now from now on, you can find out the first person oh. that posted this online Also, was. we just, like, I was talking about it, well, it was, oh, I guess I'm rehashing a bit, but it, I was talking about the Hodor thing. Which oh, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> which yeah, is yeah. also wild. Yeah. Basically, yeah. like, if you're Hodoring on the internet, like, it, it's like uh, you're, like, a naked Bad guy behind the computer who's trying to get a girl. Damn, Hodor was, was so like, I was like, what is man? going on? Hodor. Yeah, he gets yeah. done dirty, man. He did yeah. him so dirty. I was like, I was like, because I, I mean, you know, I was like, yeah, that, that shouldn't be a thing, bro. Hodor in the guys that moment in the. Oh show, my god! First of all, let me really just say, Jared Poppins is the one that got me to watch Game of Thrones, and like he was he was so hyped about the last season that oh, I was like, bro, we're gonna watch. What's it together the one word for Game of Thrones? What's the one word spoiler for Game of Thrones? Or like the ah. Uh, like, oh, the, like that that him. moment oh, of that Hodor, sound? yeah. Oh man! Oh, uh, like ah, uh, oh. like ah, uh, uh, yeah. It's just. <laughs> I think mine was. 
Yeah. So yeah, it was soundless. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. mute. Soundless. Because, like, it just brought so much shit together in it such is a, a mind crazy yeah. fi- like, time wave. It yeah. was like, what the fuck? It's like anything can happen at this point in the story now. And like, then they fell the fuck off. Yep. And that's what sucks. It's like, I was all hyped. And then I was like, wow, everything's magnificent. And then the fucking final season. Yeah, we but there is. Together. So, and I deal with this with the NFTs actually a lot right now. Mm-hmm. And there's some, and this is kind of getting a little more broad, but with hype. And it's like kind of, at some point, the hype can never deliver, unfortunately. It's and that happened that. with Game of Thrones. They just where, fucked it up. I, I mean, <laughs> I agree. I agree with John. I, I mean, I do see what you're saying. Like, once you get to a certain level of hype, it's like, bro, what do we It's like, do? how do you even end that at that point? But I think you're living in a cool problem. Filmmakers have that problem. When you're such a prolific director, you only get compared to your project mm. at a certain place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so when you get Oh, like, this level, wasn't as good as Interstellar or something. Like, if Jordan Peele released yeah. a movie, he's only going to get compared to Jordan Peele movies. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like, he's on that level. Nope. Nope. You know, like, it's only going to get compared to those movies because he's that dope. But, yeah. like, nope is, you know, dope. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I, well, fuck. This should be the What Was I Saying podcast. Right? Because <laughs> I go off on a trail with you. So, okay, so um, we, were talking, we were talking about Chicago, Second City. Oh, yeah. See, but, but that's the thing. I told him I have, like, kind of learned to pin a little bit because yeah. of my ADD that I'll be like, all right, like, this. where are we at? Bookmark. You know, okay, yeah. bookmark. Uh, and you were talking about Chicago, and Second City, and just oh, kind of, yeah, like, your Second path. City. Trevor and was with me at Second City. He was. I you guys him. did Blood Oath. Yeah, I literally met Trevor on, like, the first class I took. Yeah, we took a writing we took a writing class together and an improv class together. I didn't like that. him on we day didn't one. That. I didn't like him on day one. I was like, "Who's this kid my age?" Like at, in school. With yeah, him. but you're, you're, you 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 said, said that says about that like he was I, really like leading me on. He was the one who like tr- tried to charm the whole thing. He's like, oh, "Hey, we're both the same age. We should hang out all the time." Like he was really like, that the was day one, two so when I was, saw him in writing class. I was like, "Bro, oh, this fair, guy actually. is like." I feel it. like you're low key competitive though, and it like even when even no, I meant like like early oh, on, in, in life, yeah, yeah, like like no, not. But I think at that stage we were both so new to it though that we were looking for our team. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like it wasn't that competitive. I don't think I ever had really competitive energy with Jared. No, no I was no, just was saying like, that he was just saying that he didn't. He but I am a competitive human. Initially, being. he was like, ah, this guy, you know, there like, is a moment sure. of that. Like, oh, sure. he's the same age, and you know, but that, then eventually, you're like, all right, I like this guy. At Second City, if I mean, there's a group. I would imagine it's still the same. There's got to be a bunch of 19 year olds that have done it at that age. But you're less than like the 20 somethings. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So like the common age would be like. Mid twenties, late twenties, early thirties, and then obviously there's of every age group after that. But that's like the majority. Yeah, and in those beginner programs too, you're getting like a real mix of people who are like, I want to take comedy really seriously. I moved to Chicago to do this, but then you're also getting a lot of people who are like, I'm a guy who's funny in my office. People always tell me I should try this, and like, I'm doing this instead of a dance class. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this is what I'm doing. To like, go meet some people. I'm, Which you know, was actually hard. well, now that I'm in my thirties, I understand like it's hard to meet people in your thirties. So like, I totally get the idea of let me go like join an, an improv class like. I actually, yeah, I first fun. moved here, I took uh, three classes. I went 101, 201, 301, and then uh, realized this was getting serious, and I wasn't <laughs> that good in improv. There was a moment <laughs> where, like, like, ah, man, I still am just, like, kind of, like, PTSD from that because I stepped out on stage, and as I stepped out, this is for a class, like, 301, like, end, you know, like, you do the one class at the end. I realized what I was about to say was going to be absolutely terrible. <laughs> and, but I, but, you, whoop, sorry. Yeah. I caught that. Nice I do catch. have, I do think I have cat like reflexes. I really, I really do. Yeah, that's pretty like, that, was I, like, that was, that was, you can't, I can't like recreate it, but, you know. I think if you play that back, the beat happened. I didn't even catch the drop part. Was <laughs> it was like, fluid. Like you caught well, it. When they did that last week, too. One. You caught it before I knew at all what was happening. I'm telling you, I don't know. The, the this, I've, this has been a, kind of a thing i can't necessarily recreate it but over the years like i've like stopped like uh plates from um like when oh. i was w- working at like a, a olive garden or whatever i stopped plates from like falling and i just go whoosh and like caught like 12 plates at once you got spider-man powers bro. i know yeah man. john i think you you were the hulk recently right i was the hulk recently Dude, that yeah. looked like a lot of fun thank you man that yeah. looked like fun i was in i was telling good pivot I was, jared <laughs> i did want we did want to get to creator clash <laughs> yeah but congrats thank to, you bro uh, your bud will yeah he's man. a really nice guy yeah he, i wouldn't think of him as a fighter no he's not i was just telling him like he's he had never been hit before in his adult life before prior Which, to training. by the way, boxing is awesome. Great yeah. workout. But, like, never being hit before at all yeah. is a moment that he will have to take in in real that's time what I, in That's what ring. I said, yes. too. Which is a huge, yeah. like, 
froze moment that yeah. could have gone one way or another. One hundred percent. Um, so good on him, dude. Right. And yeah. I asked him, I was like, bro, were you nervous at all? You looked like stoic and everything. And he was like, honestly, I would have. I was more worried if I had to go up to that crowd and start telling jokes. He's like, I, I, all I had to do was beat somebody up. It is like, kind of wow. like simplistic in <laughs> yeah, that he way. He like, in. Yeah, huh? he really did. He, he had was, a TKO? He, he had a TKO second round, yeah. What? Um, and, and the other, okay, dude. I mean, I, you know, I do boxing, not recently, but I boxed every day for like a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to do it in high school, but like I recently had jumped back in. I did it like hardcore for a year, and then I obviously fell off. I'm, I'm about to get back into it. Love it. It's crazy that someone could have been training for that long and he only had 14 days he basically yeah he ba like pretty much two weeks yeah essentially it's nuts yeah. i mean good on both of them for getting in the ring yes. but also like yes i don't know i don't know the other dude but yeah yeah you should you should look at who's your trainer brother 100 percent, <laughs> man yeah because yeah, if bro. somebody came in with 14 days <laughs> and beat me after a year i'd be fucking pissed i'd be pissed it's I, true i it's think true. like some people, so the only comparison I really have is I did a tough mutter with like, like a few, like maybe like a week of training or whatever. Okay, okay. And I like had not exercised and my friends were like, Hey, we're flying out to LA and we're going to do a tough mutter, which is like the, um, like, like the CrossFit thing. Right? Yeah. It's like a CrossFit. Like you go like, you know, like go over, uh, you've kind of like almost like army training, military training a little and then bit. You, then you probably perform pretty well there. I mean, I did, I completed it. Which I was like, there's no way, like, I haven't done any training or whatever. And it's like, I think sometimes, like, people can kind of just rise to the occasion. Or Tough like, Mudder requires, like, athletic, in certain ways, like, athletic prowess for sure. But, like, boxing is such a skill. Like, Tough Mudder is like, oh, these obstacles. True. Like, if you're in good enough yeah. shape and you're not going to, like, you know, deflate, then you can make it, right? I'm not saying it's easy. Those things are hard. And people that do CrossFit are, like, legitimate athletes. But I think boxing, what I mean, is not necessarily the cardio. You're, like, the technical. It's like, like how aspect. did you have a year on this guy technically and then yeah. lose in 14 days? Well, that just doesn't add up at all. This trainer really, like, knew what to do. Like, he was like, all right, I'm going to – the rounds, if I remember correctly – He was are, taller, right? He was he – was, So you got to really yeah, introduce to him to – Oh, so jab. the trainer was like, yeah. all right, like, this is – we have – we don't have the stamina. We have to TKO, basically. Exactly. Like, we have to – we have Go to hard. use your reach and, like, you have to play to the advantage. Man, that – yeah. I trained – like, uh, each round was, I think, two minutes and then you get 30 seconds of rest. Yeah. He trained in three-minute rounds getting – oh, no, sorry. You get – Two minutes with one minute of rest. He trained three minute rounds with 30 seconds of rest. Cool. So that's what he got used to. And then by the time, and he fought against another guy who was the same height as the fighter, but who was way more experienced. So like he kind of learned. He knew how that guy would try to get inside. Exactly. So he, yeah, that's exact. Man, the trainer. That trainer yeah, that sounds like that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. That's what you I need. I just don't know what the other guy's trainer was doing. So he was trained for, mo like the, the thing is that Chris Raygun is the guy he was fighting. He was training for a fight for a guy Basically, who is actually shorter than him? So he's five four, five three. Will oh, wow. is five ten or five nine. Big, yeah, big that's difference. a big difference. You know, so they were like, we got to make it a difference in. So it's a six inch difference. They were like, we got to make it up in in experience, you know. But a lot of people were putting their money on Chris to win. Yeah, I would have. Right, and so but not then, knowing them at all. Yeah, just the difference of time is yes, is, is huge. So important, and so that's why like I my heart was pounding when people asked me if I they thought uh, if I thought Will was gonna win. I was like, it depends how hard he he's taking the training because like they the trainer was like, look, man, you no no you you need to drop fifteen pounds in 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 fourteen days. Like you need to make weight. You need to learn how to fight. No, you need to go on a diet. No sex. And he was like, that's fine. And he was like, no jacking off. And he was like, what? <laughs> no weed, no drinking, you know? So, and he does all, he, he drinks all day. He's a, he's a stoner. So that was the hardest part for him, oh, you know? So then he, once he got dedicated to it and I was like, if he, as long as he takes his cardio seriously and does everything, I think he can. Yo, I got to give him both. Anybody that goes in a ring and fights in front of people and fights. Yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. got to get credit. Like yeah. that shit doesn't. Did, that's so, ballsy to like never have been hit in the face before and right? then do this. Right, Ex exactly. Yeah. That's crazy it's ballsy. Crazy. Even if he had lost, I would have been like, dude, yeah, good he did on it. You, yeah, right. The fact that he won is crazy. I actually <laughs> wanted you guys to hear his his um his victory speech. Hell Great. Yeah. Let um, me hear this. He's he's unhinged. So like his kind of human co comedy is um like Nathan Fielder. Um, uh, <laughs> he's uh, a get ready dude. for nothing. In a good way. I've met this guy. He's cool. Chill. I here. came here to take ass yes, and bring names. And I'm all out of bubble gum, bitch. <laughs> well, then, congratulations on your victory. Tell us, do you have a message for your fans and supporters here today? 
Thank you, ho. All you hoes mean so much to me. I could do none of this shit without the line of hoes and niggas that love me. I love you, ho. I love you, niggas. I love you, Jews. Hell yeah. What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> lock, me lock me up, yeah, lock me up. Once he once he gets locked, he gets cut off right here, and then I gotta tell you, man, if he wants to keep going, he he can keep going. He's not only like winning fights; he's great on the mic. That is hilarious. So you I want to thank all you hoes. Thank thank you, ho. What so you, he, you didn't hear it, but he I, called his fan base hoes, <laughs> and then he said the n word on live streaming, yeah. and then he said. I love you, Jews. <laughs> and he said, I love the Jews. Yeah. yeah. I was like, this is very inclusive. Make it clear that you love the Jews. This exactly. is very inclusive. Exactly. Well, also, yeah, I mean, I think it just came from a place of like, this is who this guy is. You exactly. Know? <laughs> he loves I mean, the like Jews. the pure, that, like you just finished a fight. You know, well, you're at your obviously purest. obviously dominated kinda, the yeah. second round. He yeah. got a TKO. He doesn't look like he was in at all. Yeah, yeah, he's um, fine. The uh, adrenaline is rushing, yeah, so whatever. A, that was awesome, right? actually. But he, he said, he was like, my brain was still rebooting, is what he it's said. It's really was, funny, because he's already a funny guy. He's a performer. Exactly. So it's like, oh, I just won the thing I'm not that good at yet. Let me be good at this thing. I'm <laughs> yeah. definitely was, uh, good I'm at. all out. What did he say? I'm all out of bubble gum. It's, yeah, he's so, like, he said it like opposite. He's fucked up. Yeah, he, I'm here to take ass. And, yeah, I'm and here name. to take ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, take ass and change names. And I'm all out of bubble gum. It was like, what? This is so good. But the confidence was yeah crazy. yeah yeah dude I'm kind of like when yeah. you like talk to a dog but it's just the tone yeah. like if you just like, like hey what you doing over yeah. there you're an idiot yeah. like it's like you the dog just believes whatever well, you're dude, saying is good was, yeah that guy was uh I think he could keep going with this he That's, gained a fan of me I'll I'll buy the next pay per view for sure there we go Michelle Carr kicks some ass too Michelle Carr oh my god she she was great I I finally got to like actually meet her like there She's and a sweet girl she's at really the talented and Will called out his old boss Philip DeFranco like it's like an old running joke and then he was like I'm you're next Phil and Michelle was like not if I get him first. And I was like, oh, Michelle's fucking down. She's hilarious. Dude, she, I mean, from what I saw. And let's just she, jump into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, girl, this man knows. It's a Philip That's DeFranco. That's what Philip says. He yeah. always says, and let's just let's jump, just jump into, right it. into it. Let's just jump right into it. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no right. You got to. Let's, let's just, just jump, jump into, into, it. into it. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> All right. This is actually, we're just in the booth now. We're just uh, doing voiceover for hey. Philip DeFranco. Oh, it works. Yeah. <laughs> if he wants to pay me, I'll do it. There you go. He yeah. can let's it. just jump into it. <laughs> All right. Let's jump into. Okay. So you did Blood Oath. And Blood Oath, uh, I just remember you being like, like just kind of blood oath is an improv and sketch. Yeah, like locally blown up, I guess, because it's like, like I, you know, like on Facebook back in the day, you know, within our, our our little Jewish network, it was like, you know, it's blood oath, and he's doing things in Chicago, and all these guys are like edgy, and they got like videos and stuff, and it's like a decade ago, maybe now, yeah. like eight years, yeah. nine years, so it's like. Video, like content wasn't as plentiful as it is now, so it was like, oh, these guys are out here doing things. Yeah, and then we, like it was cool. I yeah. mean, it was like a bunch of dudes that met on a short film. Oh, that's Trevor and cool. I actually wrote that short film. Oh, six, six, six. And then uh, we casted a bunch of people. It was a big cast. We didn't know what we were doing yet. Yeah, we yeah. Like, Let's make a movie, and then I we made it. like the hardest movie you oh, could try. <laughs> to make. The Wild West. That's yeah. the only way to learn. Yeah, though. yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Great experience. Yeah. You want to yeah. talk about it? Oh yeah, no, hot box. Yeah, that was a fun time, dude. Man. Yeah, was a fun time in our lives. Just making moves, and then. But putting the big cast together was like it worked out well because we got to really run into some great people that we loved, and then we formed an improv team and sketch team based out of that movie. Like you know, a lot of the people that were in it, we all got together, and it was and fun. We had a really wonderful time with it, man. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, yeah, it was a good time of our lives, man. It was just a an interesting place to be. You know, we had a very like theatrical background. Like most of the other guys that we played improv with, they actually weren't in Second City at all. They were all like actors I knew from my Columbia College yep. days, like yep. who were like more black box theater trained and stuff like that. So. We were like taking that like style and aesthetic and applying like that to an improv and sketch That's space. Cool, it was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. You're smart. Wait, you went to Columbia College, <laughs> Chicago? Yeah, I actually graduated college. Like, <laughs> fucking hilarious. You went to Columbia College, yeah, Chicago? Was... Bro, I went to Columbia College, Hollywood, man. Oh, I'm the way worse school. <laughs> Wait, there's a Columbia College, Hollywood. Hollywood, yeah, but they try so hard to be the one in Chicago. <laughs> really? All they have is like, oh, it's Hollywood. Like, yeah, we all. I mean, we met when they were all at college at Columbia. Wow, yeah, and that's then, hilarious. Uh, yeah, so we made that movie. Blood Oath was a thing, and um, it was awesome. We were we were fucking playing together for years and years, and I think improv in general is, 
you know, it's a great thing I think anyone should have in their toolkit. I like, agree. I don't know. I think the one issue that I would... I'm very happy I did it. It helped my social anxiety, actually. Like, I think it really the does. one thing I would it, like give advice to anyone that I could tell is trying to take it seriously is I would just remind them early and often, like, hey, this is a toolkit thing. Like, don't make the... I, at least for me, it was like, don't fall into this cult thing of having to make a team on the theater. Or oh. Like, the theater is not your career. Yeah. Right, like yeah. they're teaching you things that can help you as a storyteller that will be your career. Yeah, a lot mm-hmm. of actors were in my classes because they were probably. It felt like they were told to go take. I think improv. it could be good for fucking anybody. Kind of loosens you up. Great. Yeah, makes you yeah. more you fluid. Up, makes you more confident in being able to think on. The, I mean, we imp- we improvise right now. We're improvising every day. Yeah. So like you know, I I think it's a cool toolkit to have. Agreed. Um, and we love doing it, but in a sports way, when you play improv with like the same team for a long time you get to scratch, like, different surfaces of, like, the capability of a team, right? Right. So we, we got pretty fucking stellar. I mean, in my opinion, we were, like, getting really good at it for a long while. We got to, like, travel. It was how I got to go to the West Coast for a little so, bit. So, wait, what's so sick is that as of, uh, like, when Trevor moved here last year, uh, is it all four, all five of them? Well, all there five was originally you guys are- six of us. But then, like, one guy left for other opportunities when we were still in Chicago, and then um, there was five, and then So the five remaining members are out here, or-, or Four of us four are. Four of I mean, that's still pretty awesome that you guys are out here, you know, that's still, cool. uh, you know, figuring out how to- We're all, I mean, they're, shout out to the boys. Shout out to Trev, shout out to Ricky, to Orion, Ryan. I mean, they're all doing it. Like, they're all- Oh, wow, killing. I've met a good amount of them, dang. Yeah, wow. yeah, you've known a lot of them. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Because we work together in different artistic and yeah, 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 like yeah. things, and like- Sketch was so much fun, man. Like, it was For a sure. great time to do it, and I'm glad I got to do it in Chicago where it was, like, really, That's you know, like, they yeah, care. the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they yeah. really want... And I think a big thing with Chicago theater in general and, you know, especially in comedy, the audience is so, like... I don't know how to explain it. It's like, a, it's like going to the gym. Like, it's a muscle to be an audience member. Sure. So, like, their muscle is so strong in that town, in that regard, that, like, they're down almost to, like, see you fail. Like, you failing oh, isn't the end yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah. And just knowing that, I think the, the town allows for artists to take more chances. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's a lot more different kinds of styles. And yeah, really like, when people it. are not really, when they actually know you, it's kind of almost, like, funny. When you're yeah. bombing, yeah. I I went to a I did a stand up in South Florida with some friends and uh, my friend bombed and it was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> bombing is tough. Yeah, <laughs> it was like friend doing it. It's it's kind of funny. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of funny. You're like and like I just think I like I'll just tell him like hey I just think about that periodically because it was so funny. Oh my like God. it's just like yeah, I really appreciate and improv it. is like you know it's not stand up. You're at a higher clip by quite a bit. You're gonna see bad improv. You know this yeah. brings me back a little. Oh, bit. Oh, not bo- sorry. No, no, he didn't. He just forgot everything. Like his jokes were good. He just. Kind of like oh, went blank, which no. was, yeah, so it's not a different, like, hey, your jokes suck, but it was still kind of. Improv, you know, it's hard. Like, even good people with good potential that could end up being great, you know, comedians, improvisers, sketch people, they're going to be a part of quite a bit of bad improv shows. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, in I mean, you just kind of have to grind and. It's and, reps, brother. And even yeah. when you have the reps, you could still have a bad show. It's all made up on the spot. Mm-hmm. But I think as you get more confident and older in the art, not like as a person, well, that too, but like older in your craft, I think you just have less chance at really like truly bombing. Hey, right? audience, um, uh, I need one word. <laughs> Please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like Don't a put it in the comment. pickle. You're like, oh, yeah, God, they said, bro. Well, you know? That's yeah. the hardest part. Come I don't know. The word, man. But no, comedy was fun. And then, like, when I was at Second City doing shows out there and, like, you know, training and stuff, uh, that's where I met Reinecker, who oh. ends up going to BuzzFeed. He was, like, one of the first, like, five producers there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The building was a nothing. You remember, like, when yeah. it was mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. Hold up. I, w- this was wild. So, me and him last week were talking about how some things kind of just happen to us that are, like, you know, so random that it no longer seems like like real. It kind yeah. of feels like a simulation. Like right, right. some predestined shit. Yeah. I'm yesterday. I'm doing some research for this guy. You know, like I know him, but I still want to kind of like remind, refresh myself about stuff. I find some BuzzFeed video that's like you and Chris talking about like Chris is telling like a bad story, or it's like his inner monologue. Is like, oh, my story sucks. So, like, Jared, I need to make him kind of into it. Oh, uh, when you're, it's literally, I think, called when you're telling a bad story. Yeah, when you're oh, telling wow. a bad story or whatever. It's like a minute clip. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just Dude, watching. Feed, you're just making. Yeah. You're just you're just Republic of Pie in North Hollywood, <laughs> just grinding, like, you listen to music, whatever, watching that here and there. Dude walks by and is like, I directed that. <laughs> Like, are you serious? What? That's yeah, so funny. a guy, uh, Julian, I think. Julian Higgins? I don't, I don't know, but like, he's like, he just was like, um, 
He was like, yeah, I directed that. Oh, I worked I for BuzzFeed. Think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I, I mean, like, you were in it. I feel like, I was like actor, yeah, right? Julian was a good guy. He seemed like a nice guy. He's like Shout directing. Out, like, some, I haven't wow. seen that guy in years. Republic directing Pie. some horror film now or something. Good for you. I was like, Sick, but, man. but it was like, it was a minute clip that I had never looked at in years. And Hilarious. this dude wasn't even on the side. He was like, where he was sitting, he was only walking by like once. That's so hilarious. we started at that like moment. <laughs> it was just like he I directed definitely that. did direct that. I remember that yeah, guy it's Julian, crazy. and he definitely directed. Wow, that. directed the shit out of so it. random. So funny. So it's like you bring up Reinecker, and I was yeah, like, yeah. "That's like the, the there you video go." Well, I, I had met Reinecker and Brittany Ashley doing a show in Chicago. Oh, and uh, I've never met her, but she always seemed cool. She's very Brittany cool. is the shit. I mean, mm -hmm. one of the most talented writers you're gonna find. Mm -hmm. She's so fucking funny, man, and such a unique perspective on things. Like she's, you know, she's cool as fuck. Yeah, she's. But awesome. uh, I love Brittany. Um, but we all met doing a show. Brittany was writing on that show, and she was like on the writing team that casted Chris and I, and we were the only two guys of the six people on the show that were casted men. You know? Oh wow! Mm. So like there was like that dude bond for a second, and then we had these amazing women cast. So like, so we were always like willing to take it back. This is out here. It is in Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Okay. So then anyway, going fast forward, Chris moves uh, back to L.A. He he was out there for a couple months on a show and he got hired at BuzzFeed as like one of the first producers and mm -hmm. he would just call me out to do shoot like shoots. Mm -hmm. and dude, I'm in Chicago. I'm doing comedy like for basically free and I'm bartending. And now I'm like, why am I flying back and forth? To yeah. Doing yeah. This? I should just come here and maybe try to make this a thing. Yeah. So that's how I got here. That's crazy. And then I met John Ross through Chris. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Man, all of these connections. Cause I technically met Chris through Will. You know, and then that's that's all because of here, yeah. Amazing. So yeah. I, I think um, L.A. It definitely gets a, a bit of a bad rap. There are obviously there are bad things about every city, um, yeah. but like as far as uh, I guess I'd call it like serendipity in L.A. Yeah. is like yeah. a real thing that does not really Newer exist in a lot of other. <laughs> what? <laughs> serendipity. New word. Mm -hmm. No, that one I've said plenty. I've said. <laughs> it's, a, yeah. it's, a <laughs> it's a good call. It's yeah. a good callback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but like you just and, and people are like, hey. Uh, it's so superficial out there. It's like, no, you literally go to a coffee shop. You may ha unintentionally bump into someone who is actually a director who thinks like, like you're just like a good fit for like, you have a higher chance for sure. Yeah, It's like, you know, or you go to a party, yeah. you know, whatever it is. It's like, so essentially when you're kind of walking out the door, you generally want to be like, like presentable or ready like as yeah. an actor yeah. or like someone in the business right. like, you it's just a it's definitely an interesting town man. yeah mm -hmm. i mean it's you know people move most people that are here are not from here yep you know yep. unless you're in certain areas of course yeah, yeah, but yeah. like when you're in the city it's like most people are not from here they moved here mm -hmm. and they all moved here to pursue this like crazy dream in some way so they're all trying they're all kind of open to it to a point because yeah. they moved know? here yeah they exactly did, like they pulled this the biggest the trigger so it's like you're in a town where art is made for a living Mm -hmm. And I think that just affects the town good and bad. You know? Yeah, no. Like, I, I think it gets a bad rap, like, deservedly so for a lot of reasons. And I think it gets a good rap, deservedly so. Like, I met some of my best friends in the world in L.A., but I've also met some of, like, the worst fucking people I've ever met in this town. And, John, you're from here. Yeah, I'm born and People that are from here are cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys are like like, le like so much more uh, leveled. They're, yeah, like, they're yeah. so grounded. People that are from here are not like LA no. stereotypes. Yeah, the it's stereotypes like we've seen them from, all. The stereotypes yeah. come from the people that have lived here for ten years. Everyone exactly. comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. LA-fied. Yeah, they know? get LA fied. Exactly. That's the stereotype. And then the having your family here crazy. is such yeah. a huge edge. Yes. For just like, because like sometimes you just want like you know, or you know, oh, I get to see like my nephew or whatever. My family. Yeah. Like it's like. It I've never be, even thought about that. Like I was just like I'm just so used to oh, it. Oh, I'm yeah. so jealous yeah. of being able to live here or be, be able to live somewhere where your like family's family as well. close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's you know that's it's always big. that's a sacrifice, man. It's yeah. true. It's this true. is getting really uh, you that's know deep, emotional, bro. poignant. You know, you know right. poignant. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jared, it's all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But okay, so that is yeah. So you're out here now. You're grinding, and uh, then you just kind of like you know started. Going to auditions or like, was there any? Oh, it was BuzzFeed that probably kind of? I feel like that was when I started seeing like, oh, like Blood Oath was a thing, and then I started seeing like, oh, Jared's like doing like Honest Waiter BuzzFeed videos. It's getting like millions <laughs> mm. of views or something. There's like a slew of them. Yeah, like clearly, the, but it's funny because when you're not really, I don't think I was in LA at that point. I mean, I uh, I was like off and on, but mm. you like forget that. You think, oh, you you're in a BuzzFeed video? Well, you're you've made it. 
Oh, like yeah. everyone seems, you know, no, no, it's you like, haven't made it. <laughs> no, you have not. Like, no. you know, like, but it's like, oh, this blew up on the internet. Cool. Well, you're raking it in now. It's like, no, still mm-hmm. need to pay rent. Yeah. Oh, bro. No, no. I'm still trying to make it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> the ongoing battle. Still you're always still there. trying to make it. But mm-hmm. it was still cool to be like, but I, it, what it was, was it was kind of like validating for me to, or for you. But it was like, oh, I know that Jared has actually like been on this path for a reason now. And it seems like it is working if you're actually going viral in multiple clips on BuzzFeed, which was like the hot shit then. Thank you. But not to take too much credit, you know, like it is a platform. Like when you release something on that platform, it's going to get a ton of views regardless. You could make anything, you know. Um, But it was a cool in for me, like. Selfishly, for sure, I, I was glad. I'm very uh, grateful. Yeah, for but having time. met like you, Reinecker, and like uh, I met it, Reinecker, I got to meet Keith. Like Keith is one of my dearest friends. Mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but I just mean like it's like yes. I'm I'm trying to be like no no no. You're taking the compliment. All right, <laughs> I'll you're take not gonna. Your no, it's it's like yes yeah. Obviously, you could release whatever on that platform because it is a platform. But sure. um, you guys kind of still rose above it. I felt. Yeah, I was very proud of a lot of the stuff we did. We did there. Mm-hmm. So like BuzzFeed is hard, man. Back in those days, the people that worked there full time, like that was such a fucking grind. Yeah, you have to make a video a That's week. That's what Julian was saying, bro. I don't think I people about- understand like. You yourself have to make and finish and release a video every week. Yeah, that yeah. quota is insane, and yep. it doesn't. Necessarily he did say it was a beautiful, like, creative time. Amazing period. creative time, yeah. and there's amazing <laughs> creatives in that building doing cool shit at that moment. Yeah, but I don't think having a quota that insane necessarily uh, propped up the idea of making the best thing you could. Yeah. It, like, forced people to making just things they felt comfortable making. Yeah. Often. Not always. People made great shit there. But, like, yeah, so when you did make something you were proud of in that environment, I was stoked on it. Because it was like, dude, we didn't have to make this. We could have made a video that's, like, yeah. a cat taking a bath and would outperform this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, like, it was an interesting time. And I'm very grateful for, like, the whole Honest series that we made there. Um, Sessions is, like, my favorite thing mm-hmm. we made there, the three-part series. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was stoked on a lot of the shit we did there. And I met some of the coolest fucking people I've ever met. Awesome. Yeah. And I, it was, a for, during that time period, I was kind of, because uh, of poker not being, like, legal in America. I was traveling and stuff, and i just gotten out of a long relationship that I, like, kind of, was like, there was one t- time where I just decided I was going to go to L.A. Like, okay. like I, think I, I was in that. Vegas, and I was just, like, I'm just, I just need to go to L.A., like, by myself, and just, like, l- like, and I was, like, living, I had a, a six-month lease with some poker players and stuff, uh-huh. and I just, like, peaced out, and I was, like, I'm just going to L.A., and... I went and I met up with Jared and Jared was just like, yeah, like I'm doing this and doing that and blah, blah. blah. And then like I met up with like another, uh, a couple friends. And I was just like, I kind of feel like I need, I lived in LA from 2009 to 2011, 12. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I was like, I feel like I need to give it another shot. So I moved back here and then like Jared was just doing his thing. And then eventually we made the, the poker show. Yeah. yeah and that yeah. was cool. That, that was, was crazy. Awesome, man. That was a great experience too. I learned a lot. We all learned yeah, a lot. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah. yeah, that was. We brought John Ross and the boys on the road to Vegas. Yes, baby. sir. Road yes, dog. Sir. Yeah, you know, there's um, and there was that shooting at Circus Circus we were staying. No, at. Knife, stabbing. Yeah, knife stabbing. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah. Yeah, the shooting would have been intense. Yeah, it yeah. Was a stabbing. Stabbing is crazy though. Yeah, we all stayed at Circus Circus. Yeah, yeah. I apparently missed Jesus. that part, but Circus Circus was a. Uh, we probably should never stay there again. I will yeah. never <laughs> stay yeah. there. Stay. Yeah. I heard it was sick in like the seventies. It's, it looks like it's kid, still in the 70s. The yeah. Adventure Dome was the shit. Maybe I'm even oh, dating yeah. it more. It might have been sick in the 90s. Yeah. MGM yeah. used to have an um, indoor amusement park. I saw these like, have a zoo forever ago. Damn. Like, that shit's crazy. Like mid nineties or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that was, was like a fun trip, man. I mean, we got to we got to just hang on the road and shoot stuff. That was fun. Yeah, yeah that we went was to definitely... esports arena for a bit to like yeah. kind of cap it off, and it was just yeah, it was a, and it was it was really cool, like uh, interviewing you know a bunch of. I, I really liked that that show that we made together. I yeah. thought it was really good. It was good. a fun production yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it was like we got like some good content out of the like poker players. I and never stuff. saw it because it was behind a paywall. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, we'll get it to you. you yeah, thanks, yeah. thank you. <laughs> you. You can use my login. Oh yeah, love it, love we'll it. Get it to you. <laughs> but um, yeah. So and then um, uh, kind of just so. Oh, actually, real quick. Um, I think now's like a good time to do like let's show them some TikToks. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's <laughs> yeah, do it. show me. Let's some get to that. Let's yeah, get to that segment uh, of the show. I got, I got, I got a, a hand picked. I'm ready. Um, and uh, yeah, because I, I kind of like to just 
because I, I am on the internet a lot. And it's like uh, your mom's house. Yeah. Shout out your mom's house. Yeah, but I, I don't I, I don't want to go as like down that like they go a little like they go dark. dark sometimes. I, mean, I think they're my favorite podcast. Yeah, they're super fun. So wait, do I just pre- we just press play and I then it, it plays? It should. Oh, you guys need to have headphones though. Damn. We got headphones. Yeah, I got them. Oh, but weren't you not being able? Yeah, to Yeah, I couldn't hear earlier. Well, that's not gonna work though. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't guess know why so. you can't hear. I'm sorry that my headphones are warm. You're good. <laughs> I'm good. Technical difficulties. There you go. Oh, it's all this right. sounds pretty good in here. Yeah. Right? It's a good sound, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is good. That's why I like living in there. Yeah, yeah this is fun. So uh, I guess if you just want to watch this, me yeah. and John have it memorized. Hit me no, I mean, oh, just me? Yeah. Well, we, you know. We, we'll put it on. I've yeah. seen it. Yeah. Let me know. If, I can't tell if it's playing, so. Here we go. Okay. What's up, fuckers? I'm assuming you ain't never seen a Mexican Yoshi before. Nope. Well, check it out. We got Cuban Mario. Oh, yeah, go back. Go back. Dominica Luigi. Mama huevo, mira mi plátano, papi. Making mofongo. Making mofongo. Do not mess with us Latinos. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm illegal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I like these guys. <laughs> yeah. The, Dude, th- this is how they should have made Mario. Oh, my God. Go. This is the sequel. Maybe they want to rethink casting. Oh, man. I, I, and, uh, I was like, I, I would hate to see the Waluigi in Wario. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really dig them. Yeah, they're su- and the the making Mofungo thing. I think we 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 talked about this. You've been to Mofungos? Yeah, but, yeah. Well, we oh, have we have more. a couple more. We have a couple Hell more. Yeah. But before before, uh, oh, yeah. It playing? What? Oh, okay. yeah, it's so, playing right now. Big but. boy. Oh, it's alligator breeding season right now. And they are <laughs> Wait, I don't want to hear it before I have to yeah. see it. It won't yeah. be an honest reaction. Okay, so um, yeah, we were talking about it that Mofungos is like a real uh. Yo, it's in Burbank. Go. It's yeah. in Burbank. It's no, it's it's in Burbank, and yeah, it is a real food. I love it's Burbank, Burbank or North Hollywood. That's like my hometown, it's man. The same shit. It's close. It's the same shit. Know. But it's it's, it's fucking. Like yeah, that's your hometown, dog. Yeah, yeah. I that's live your... on that side of the hill now. Hell yeah. I've been there for like four years, five years. That's crazy. Well, it's your hometown now too. You lived there wow. longer than I have at this point. That's yeah. <laughs> but like you're Mofongo, not you're not over on I'm that not side there anymore. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm near. I'm near. I'm near here. You're with your girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's sweet. Oh yeah, man. I like her. Oh yeah. I forgot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wholesome. Um, Yay. Let me, <laughs> let me uh, see this bad All right. boy. Let's see this one now. Uh, I guess I'll just hold it. I got it. Okay. Alligators are cannibalistic, so when they hear a baby alligator sound, they all come over. Not to defend the baby or anything, they just think it's a dinner bell. When they realized it was me, they took off. Alligators naturally fear humans, and if they're not fed, they're scared. Check out this baby yellow rat snake. Sadly, I think it got clipped by a car. That's why you need to drive you slow see. in the Everglades. Look at this dude. It's an invasive Madagascar day gecko. Just going for a casual barefoot stroll <laughs> through the Everglades. Did you guys see that? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Alligators have a specially designed eyelid to see underwater. He can see me perfectly clear. Yo, this guy's this gonna die. Alligator, <laughs> They're also breeding this time of year. Good this thing he made gonna die making safely. TikToks. Lubber grasshoppers are hatching right now, and they are everywhere. Check them out. Ooh, what's that? Yoink? It's an eastern glass lizard. Yep, you heard me right. This is actually a lizard. They have a nickname called Legless Lizard. Love you guys. Stay safe out there. <laughs> love me? You love me? All right, y'all. Love you guys. Stay you safe out there. Bro, you just walked up on um, like 10 apex yeah, predators. What the believe? fuck, man? He's barefoot <laughs> too, right? Like, and all that shit. Yo, he's so calm. It's like he was born in the in wilderness. The, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so I think he's uh, it's fishing with Garrett, or and 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 he I think he's like a really conservationist fishing? or something like that, or he kind of yo that guy was like chill Steve Irwin without like so much love, just like hey, this is what I'm looking at right now, I'm right <laughs> and he's just like yoinking like <laughs> yeah, random yeah, snakes. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? And, he, and whenever like a snake bites him, he's like, oh, they're kissing me. Oh, <laughs> wow. He says they're kissing. Him. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's just coming in for a little kiss. There's no fucking way. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean the fact that he's just barefoot, casually walking around, and then sometimes he like he found like a he's always looking for the pythons in the Everglades. That's great, no. as, you, as you do. <laughs> I will say this: we grew up in Florida, and like I was often the kid with no shoes. Like my, I never had shoes on. I was yeah, always yeah. playing tag in like the yeah. backwoods and like no shoes and stuff. But like, thank God there was no snake. That would have tripped me out. <laughs> I'm from there, and I'm still yeah, no, like because like that. that, that's yeah. why I'm showing you because like Coral Springs is literally where we're we're both from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's basically there's just the Sawgrass Expressway, and then to the left of that is just Everglades. Oh, and wow. It, and in order to get from east to west uh, in South Florida to Southwest Florida from like Miami, it's called Alligator Alley, which mm-hmm. is like 100 miles. There's one exit, God. highway, God, and it's just like. You, I that mean, sounds you, terrifying. Yeah, it, it really isn't wow. as terrifying. I mean, granted, I'm not as scared of like gators and stuff because of Florida. Like, oh, that's, that's fair. not that scary. To that's me. fair. But like snakes, I'm not cool with snakes. That's fair. <laughs> that's yeah. fair. 
You can't. I've dated people. a couple girls with snakes, and I was always like, mm. I don't love this. Your reaction yeah. was great though, because it was just like such like you just burst out like, yeah, no, dude, no, dog, <laughs> what the hell? And now the last one. Okay. This guy is just uh, he's crushing it. He's crushing. Yeah. Have I seen this one? Uh, I don't. That's okay. No, maybe I described I'll it. it on another date. Wait. <laughs> What? <laughs> Yo, no way. This, is this real? How do you get it in? Whatever they're doing. I have no idea. But I, could you imagine just being next to the guy who snuck in like an entire dinner for oh, ten? Oh, that was that. The ra- yeah, yeah, the Rangoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot about. Yeah, I, I did. One. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That guy's yeah. at a basketball He's game eating 10 meals worth of crab rangoon. And then he, like, brings out the... He also got smuggled in the sauce. That's the best part. <laughs> How did he bring that shit in? I can't even bring in, like, a bottle of water. I have no idea. Do they no check purses and shit? I don't know. I've never I don't know. Been. Maybe, like, yeah, Memphis, they're just... It's there different. You, you know, you just, you just... He has inside job. The switcheroo. There's plenty of stadiums now that I think I about it that you can just walk right in. A couple of Jewish Christmases where I would sneak a whole Chinese dinner and bring it in. It was really neat too. Hell fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I will say this. I used to, when I was in co- well, when I before I dropped out of college uh-huh. and not going to college, I would go to basketball games back in the day or like football games. And if they had a metal detector or whatever and they were checking for things, I would slide like the pints of Jack Daniels, the glass ones you could get at the store, in my boot because it wouldn't wow. trip up. The metal mm. Wow. And that's, uh, I mean, that's like, uh, so. There, I saw like a video of these kids who they have. So there's there's these type of like alcohol kind of bags you can get that it's kind of I don't know maybe it's like portable like for festivals or something where it's like got like a little like uh, man I'm really uh, this I is can't. just I'm 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 just like blowing it right no, now no no okay no. so oh. it's like it's got like a little spout oh, oh it's got a spout. That you can like kind of drink out of, and it's like this plastic bag that probably is, holds like a gallon worth of fluid. Oh shit! Okay. But like, I don't know. It's you not necessarily it. for alcohol. Oh yeah. But, but they just started putting yeah. in like Fireball or whatever. So one of these kids for a music festival in San Diego, it's at Waterfront Park, I think, in San Diego. Uh-huh. They knew it was going to be there in a few months, so they just buried it. I saw that. <laughs> Yo, oh, those kids. Yeah. That was like some Shawshank Redemption shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> that, those kids are geniuses. Yeah. Geniuses. Yeah. Shout out to those fucking. I've been doing a lot of shout outs. I think this room makes me feel like I have to shout you out. You just do shout outs, man. Th- this room, like, I was empowered. You just. Yeah. It's yeah. a vibe. That's mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm in a certain kind of vibe. I'm like, I'm going to shout everyone I know. Out. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Uh, K101. Shout out to that go. lady I met last week somewhere. There you go. You know? There you go. Go, lady. She was mm-hmm. she was a uh, she was real nice. Like she I was. mean, she she opened the door for you, literally. And, and I was like, I don't like paid you, for you your go you know she, coffee yeah. and wow wow. And then all of a sudden she was yeah, <laughs> so and then she just like ran off. You were like, there. You were there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to improv, but no, you know, yeah, I love <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was feeling it. That's yeah. why I was like, <laughs> yeah, improv is cool, man. Yeah, it is. I think anybody should do it. Yeah, it's I mean great. that was twelve hundred dollars worth of uh, Dude, classes. Dude, it shows, right man. Yeah, it was totally. I yeah. see the three A. I see the. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I see the expertise. There were there was like one kid in my two hundred one class that like, he just uh, maybe he was autistic. I don't know, or he just kind of maybe wasn't like mm-hmm. something was off. Sure. And every time he would say something, you would see like. Like a three or four people like start like gasping with where he's gonna go with it. Oh God, <laughs> it that like, sounds like Will. <laughs> it, it was just like I'm like stressed out with like I'm in a scene with him and I'm stressed out. Where I was just like, this kid's kind of funny to me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. just like you know. I mean, there's always people in an improv class that you're like, this person is a wild card. Yeah, and, right. And especially when you're trying to learn, I think you just are quicker to like. In a weird way, when you're, like, young as an artist, not as, like, a human being, when you're, like, new in a craft, I think it's good to be very, like, hypercritical. I think it kind of comes naturally. Like, Mm -hmm. you are super critical in those moments. But in improv, it's, like, if you're just trying to learn and be comfortable up there, it's kind of crazy sometimes when you're on stage with someone who's, like, all over. Yeah, everyone kind of takes it a different way. Like, for me. You may not be equipped to really handle that to your best ability. Yeah, I remember there was one point where... uh, Someone like I created like some hilarious uh like I guess alias or it was I guess if it was a um yeah I it was just Geronimo Jenkins it was wow, a baseball a player uh-huh. and I was like yeah and I was like it's Geronimo Jenkins <laughs> up at the plate and I just like will just 
randomly throw that name out there periodically. That's, I love it. It's like, love this name. Like, yeah. thank you, Improv. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Toronto Jenkins. Toronto Jenkins. That's, that's good off the top of your head. <laughs> well, now, it's, now it's like in his head. <laughs> yeah. Now it's in now, my head. Now he now lives. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's no longer on the top. <laughs> yeah, it's like trickle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Adam, I think, I think you're naturally funny. And I always said this to anybody like, who's like, do you think I should do it? It's like, dude, do you laugh at stuff? If you can laugh at stuff, you probably can make someone laugh at something. That's so true. That's you know? fair. So, but I, w- I was thinking about that. Like, I think I'm funny in, like, not the artful way of being funny, if that makes sense. Where it's like, if if you're like, hey, like, write a joke, I'm like, no. Oh, like, sure. Like, I, I, but, like, if I just kind of talk. Everyone's different, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. maybe we'll eventually laugh at something. I yeah, I don't think there's a right way to do comedy. I think you just want to be good at doing mm-hmm. comedy. You can be good at a lot of styles of comedy. You know. What's your way to do comedy? Fuck, damn, it's pretty. It's a I feel question. like I feel like for you actually, if if we I could be the uh, person you know the, the god above describing how you kind of do comedy, it's <laughs> like a- everything is a bit to you. Like literally anything could be a bit at any point in time, and I love that. And sometimes it's easy to get it carried away. Like I, I start doing that with like uh, some random people that are not Jared, and it just was like. Uh, maybe I should same. tone this down a little bit, <laughs> but it's so much fun it's with only Jared. With certain friends, but yeah, yeah I yeah. definitely, I don't think I'm as bitty as some of my other improv friends. I've seen some improv people that you're like at a party and everyone's doing a bit. And you got to get out of the party, and somebody's outside doing a bit about the tree, and you're like, "Where does the bits end? <laughs> Where does it end? I need a real conversation." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I'm always down to clown, dude. I'm always down to make a silly. Mm-hmm, I feel that. Yeah. No, uh, I bring it to Will really fast. Like his bits. You, you can never, people who don't know him will never tell that he's joking. Yes. Like, we had a co worker, her name is Jessica. On the second day of the Love shoot, Jessica. Oh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Of course, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Jessica. And so, like, uh, she. She, with the second time we worked with her, we hung out with her after after hours, right? And Will turned to her and be like, Jessica, you know no one at the office likes you, right? And she's like, what? She's like, yeah, they all talk shit about you behind your back. And she's like, are you serious? And Which, I'm like, no. by the way, would have, knowing Jessica, like, that's like the worst thing that's you like could tell That's like the worst her. thing yeah, you could yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I feel really like that's nice just like really a, that's cares. not a <laughs> joke that is but real. Like, like, he said it like, well, yes, you know, like, and I know when Will is fucking, there's like a tone he has when he's not really being himself. And I was like, she, he's joking. He's joking. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're so best friends now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, they're 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 very nice people. <laughs> oh yeah, but, yeah. You can roast. Yeah, I mean it's that. I think I would be like, what? Yeah, like um, I was like, please, no. <laughs> she doesn't know yet, bro. How many episodes of this have you guys done? Already? Uh, well, I guess this is two and a half because like we did that like the the zero one where you and my mom heard it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That we had I liked last it. week. Yeah, yeah thanks, it was man. fun. So, so no I mean, heard it. Uh, that that first one, not really, because it oh, wasn't video. Got it. So I mean, maybe we could throw it up on the on the the inner internets, you know, and just kind of. But uh, the first one isn't out yet, but it should be out like today or tomorrow. Sick, sick. Yeah, that's true. I, I was like, yeah. well, I, I was surprised by it, even though I was like, I knew that was gonna happen. I think this is cool. I think you guys have like similar sensibility, and you like cool things. Sensibility. I telling, I've telling, definitely never said that word before because it just makes me think of like the 1900s. Sensibility. Like, oh, mm-hmm. you have quite a nice I mean, sensibility. sensibility I could hear it. Time. I'm pretty yeah. sure I've said it. It's not. It's not very often. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sensibility. <laughs> I. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I think you guys, I was telling you this the other day. I was like, you guys are nerds, but cool ones. Oh, thanks, man. Well, are nerds cool- are cool now, I think. Yeah, yeah. but you guys well, are that's like what, cool nerds. That's what me and Trevor were talking about last night. We're like cool nerds, but also we're, we're kind of like, we kind of hang with some cool people, but we also hang with some nerdy people, and like well, we kind of like bouncing like, back and forth. You pass in both circles. You yeah. I mean? You're either the coolest nerd or the nerdiest cool guy, and it's like you kind of, you operate as both in either one you're in. It's like, yeah. This guy knows these people. This guy knows that. Like kind of high school rules, just stretched yes, out, you know. It's exactly, like, exactly. And when you can get a, when you can get along with all those groups, they're like, "Damn, everyone likes you." <laughs> I just think you guys have cool interests. Yes, so, uh, that's true. Yeah, you guys like tech, and you I know. would say that like that's the biggest thing is that Adam and I have so many varied interests that, yeah. that that's what's gonna when you yeah. guys layer them on top, it's mm-hmm. really fucking mm-hmm. sick. Yeah, well, I Creator appreciate clash that. This week, that was fucking fun. That was yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. How, yeah. how how long have we been going? Because I I lose track of this time. This is only the, how long has it been happening? No, I meant oh. like this oh, episode. Been, this is about an hour and something, and we still have the preamble about twenty. Okay, minutes Okay, so in the uh, we have a couple. I have a couple more things. Okay, sure. Um, I just like playing. I, I with this knife apparently. It's nice, but yeah. um, uh, quite yes. I mean, this is quite <laughs> well made plastic wear. Uh, Shout so, out. 
<laughs> shout, shout out to uh, Cicino, I think. Uh, Dude, shout out to Foods, bro. The, it's an Italian like, like I just cafe made up bakery. A new name, by the way. What? what? I don't know what I said, but it was not. We'll what play you said. it back. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> either either way, like this, the pastries are stupid good. They're they're very busy. I could see them having like yeah. an actual like bigger place. Like we've gotten like, this yeah. place every time we've recorded, and I look forward to it every single time. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, this is a cool vibe for you. Guys. Yeah. Uh, but okay, so, um. I kind of want to always like ask like an interesting question, uh, like just one, just maybe. throw one out there that's like you know maybe not that funny or whatever. Uh, this one was one I thought of this week. What is a red flag? But it's not like a dating red flag, like a human red flag, like something that just like when a like just another person does it, like kind of you know maybe in conversation or socializing or whatever that just like just a human being, it's not like a dating. Situation. I can help. Mm -hmm. I can go with mine. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. So. When someone uses the speakerphone in public, but like has no awareness of anyone else around, like I've been in a sauna. I hate that. That's They're honestly using, one of mine. That's like, really good. Yeah, it's not even just speakerphone; it's just talking loudly on the yeah. phone in public. That's fair. That one is so good. Uh, yeah. Well, I hate talking that. loudly on the phone is a, like some. I get that, but like the speakerphone is so much more. Puts invasive. it over the edge. Yeah. Or yeah. if they're on speakerphone and talking loud, that Damn. was that happened the other day. I was like, what I is feel like on? I have a ton of these, but in the moment, I'm like, which can't come nah, up with them. I know, yeah, I know. But I want to think about this one because that's a good question. Yeah. It was really good. I, I actually have tried to think about it this entire time too, and it's literally like I can only think of like, oh, this doesn't turn on the blinkers, but it's like that's not even like good. Like it's like there's definitely specific oh no, ones. could well here's one. Yeah. What about like when someone? I mean, this one is not. I don't think that's like a red flag, but when someone's in the right lane, but they clearly were just going straight. Oh, oh yeah, dude, you know, sure. and, you that's know. the worst too. Driving I'm just trying LA, to throw some I, out I there. Got so. One for driving, actually. cool. So with driving, I am very, I, I know I'm the rarity here, but I think more people should just fucking do this in my opinion. <laughs> it's like if you fuck up in driving, listen, every even if you're the best driver, there's going to be moments sure. that you do something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In that moment, look over, hit him with the, the wave. wave. It doesn't the have wave. to be the, the biggest wave. thing. But the worst oh. ones is when you get cut off in traffic and then you're like next to that person and you know they're just fucking like this. Yeah. And they won't give you even the remote <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker just give it's me like, that. Bro, but the, I think on. that could be a little bit because they're scared. Because yeah. it's like there's an element of like, well, like, I screwed up, but I can't. I, but also maybe but they're that's just also like, I can't like, admit Maybe it. I'm reading way too far into this very yeah. micro little thing. But it's like if you're scared to just apologize for that, what else can't you apologize for? Wow. Mm. Yeah, see, all these small. That's what I mean. Like these small little, you know. You know. Red flags. Are you willing to gonna... apologize? No one's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. John, you have a like a one in movies or gaming or something. Oh man, that's a good one. No, I, I I'm gonna have to. Wait. I have a poker one. Okay, that's go for the, it. Go like for this it. is the, I have almost gotten into fights multiple times with this one. <laughs> when okay, so you're at a poker table in person, not online, and uh, it's like uh, about a minute left. So the way po poker tournaments work is like you know it's every hour, uh, every two hours there's a break. And the blinds go up and then like, you know, things escalate and you have less chips as the blinds go up. So at like or more chips. Well, you you have less chips. Or sorry, you, you have less like big blinds. Right. I was just as trying the to blinds, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You have more. But um so as the clock winds down with thirty seconds left before the break, people want to run to the bathroom or they want to go for a smoke because they only get fifteen minutes or whatever. And sometimes people will be like yeah, don't worry. Like, I'll take the 30 seconds it takes. So like, you can go to the bathroom. And as a poker player who just, like, like I like for the game, you want to play as many hands as possible. Sure. So when someone's like, no, 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 like, I'm just going to waste time and we're not going to play another hand, go to the bathroom, it's not doing anyone a solid. And I will, like, yell at people, like, fold your hand. Stop. You know, like this is not like a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you, like you're mistaken. I get yeah. fired up with that. And <laughs> I it's hate like, texting and driving. That's fair. I hate it. I've been guilty of it. Don't get me wrong. Everyone's yeah. been a text and drive. Do you, so all. you use the voice now? Yeah, yeah. I'm big on voice memos. I mm. do. I am not a fan of when I receive just the voice memo because I have clients and friends who only reply with the voice memos, and I'm like, please, like it's so much faster for me to just read it than listen to this multiple times. One thousand percent. But if they're driving, I usually only hit you when I'm driving with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. You, what about Siri? You could try voice I text with Siri. You. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. And it's not even like you. If you do it every like you mix it up, I have people who only respond with voice memos. You know, yeah. and I have to keep every single one. It's yeah, like, what the that's fuck? That's annoying as shit. But 
now that you r- r- remind me of this, like uh, uh, there we go, John. There's there's All a right. client. There's, anytime I'm like taking on like like potential people who are looking for work, there's certain words that I hear. I'm like, oh, I'm not I'm not with this. You know, it's like exposure like there's like you know there's like certain things i'm like oh you're oh you're gonna do it for exposure you know you're all about the talk and like up, up front you made it seem like you had the money but now you're like saying these words oh let's work together on this i'm like oh no 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 here's the I've thing here's shit. the thing about that exposure thing that yeah. i don't fuck with as someone that's worked in co- like with companies that have offered that yeah thing, like if you are big enough to to offer me exposure you're big enough to pay me 100 percent. so pay me yeah pay anybody that you like should pay. Mm-hmm. Even if you can't pay the market rate or whatever. Like, dude, if I was shooting a short film with, like, Trev, you know, mm-hmm. and we had to produce it on our own. Mm-hmm. Even if I couldn't pay every actor, I'm still going to give them gas money. 100%. You have yeah. to, like, give them something yep. back for their time. Oops, acting absolutely. often comes free because, mm-hmm. like, people like to act. Yeah. The acting part comes free. Yeah. You pay me for everything else. Getting yeah. to and from. Yeah. Sitting around, waiting, doing all that other shit. That's what people are getting paid for. And for, like... But yeah, I don't know. Exposure is a bullshit. Word. Yeah, I yeah. Hate that. For yeah, real. yeah. That's Taboo a that, word. Yeah, exposure. it is. It's kind of <laughs> like uh, when you're in a startup or someone like wants you to work, but it's like uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll give you like percentage or whatever, kind of or yeah. Like, well, at least percentage like, is something. Percentage but, is something, <laughs> but I mean, like, but the thing is, is some people will do that and actually just scam. Like sure. there, yes. they, there was no intent of them actually. Well, that's just like, bad people. You yeah, yeah that's that. true. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I mean, when you're, well, you, don't get me wrong, as an artist, if you're getting involved with something that you have faith in and you want to roll the dice on yourself and yeah. gamble, I'm yeah. all for you taking points, like yeah. percentage and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. But like with bad people, that you shouldn't be doing that with anybody. Well, that's mm-hmm. fair. Mm-hmm. Um. So and and I know that I was like saying we're wrapping up, but like we still have a couple things that I kind of wanted go. to Give get it to. to me, baby. All right, I'm chilling. So now, What's up? you. So I I. I Found out that you were. I feel like you're try. You you started getting involved with the try guys, Keith. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, actually, Keith. Shout out to him. He came to my second Games and Grooves event. You brought him. Keith oh, is the man. Sick. Yeah. Keith is one of the sweetest human beings on planet. Yeah, it was absolutely, super cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but so, I guess it seemed, and maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like you had to do a uh, a PUBG, which is like a shooting, like kind of like Fortnite esque, oh, like so fucking fun. You had to do a PUBG tournament. Yeah. And I feel like they that might be like one of the first times they tapped you in because you were like the best friend that could actually teach them. I think that how might to have play. Been. I don't remember like exactly. Game. I may have done some other stuff on their channel already. Keith was in my first BuzzFeed video. Mm. So like, so when I came out and I had to like come up with some, you know, just random shit. Keith was in my very first one. But I, I looked through this video and it was cool. It was like, it was kind it was of like so fun, dude. It was Dead Mouse, uh, which you guys said Dead Mouse Five, and Love never. It. And I was like, "You're gonna correct it. They're gonna." No, I think no. They, no, Keith did it on purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love Dead Mouse Five. Being okay. funny, you know, like he knows it's Dead Mouse. But um, <laughs> I mean, I didn't know it was Dead Mouse for a decade, and I was oh, like, really? "Well, I mean, or back in the day, and you know, it's like one of those things you where like thought it was Dead Mouse Five. Yeah, I was That's like, how I was lo- written. I love how. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, like, oh, but wow. it's like it's one of those like elite. <laughs> I didn't realize oh, that you're wow. like, oh yeah, I did the thing I did. I'm like, no, that was a joke. Oh no. No, I think a lot of that was a thing for a long time where people were like, oh, it's actually Dead Mouse. He actually was really good. That's the thing is like, so we did this PUBG tournament, right? Mm -hmm. I at the time had played a lot of PUBG and not to brag, but I'm better than the average gamer at that game. Yeah. I also had a lot more time on my hands to just be fucking gaming. Yeah. (laughs) So I felt pretty confident going in. They're like, hey, can you teach us that game you play? We're going to do a celebrity tournament for charity. It's like of all games, it's of all that games, game. It was, that yeah. game. Perfect. And it was like, dude, this was my Fortnite, yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I can fucking play this game. Yeah. And it's going to be against some really good, like, pro teams. And, like, Dead Mouse's team, he brought pros, yeah. all streamers, you know. Like, they're all good. So I knew we had no shot. It's the Try Guys. They don't play games. So they're not gamers like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, they try to play games. Yeah, they try to play games. Yeah. And uh, so we had, like, four days with them to teach them this yeah. game. And by the way... And that, that this, this video is actually easy game for gamers. No, like PUBG is hard. It's a hard shooting game. It was like for the gamers game video games. where it's like Fortnite's more for like, you could just pick it up and have some fun. Gamers game is like, you have to really be playing this for a while. It's, That's that dark soul uh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very strategic, quick moving game. Sure. So, and you have to be loose and fast. And only, the only way to really get there is if you're good and confident yeah. and yeah. you have to be a gamer for years to be that good at mm-hmm. that game. Anyway, I didn't know it was on PC. We trained them on Xbox controllers. Oh, on no. And that's what I'm used to. I'm a oh, console. man. Oh, no. And uh, we get there, and it's on PC. 
And like they're like, yeah, we'll do it this way. And I'm like, <laughs> I cannot. If I'm the only one who's capable of like protecting us in a in a firefight in this video game right now, yeah, I need to have a controller. So they sent yeah. a PA to get us controllers, right? But he like took a while to leave for whatever reason. He was probably working, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, he came back and gets us this controller. And it's like I spent the entire hour they gave all of these pro gamers to warm up. So they're like warming up in servers for an hour, and I spent this whole hour trying to teach the controller how the to c- work. Controls. Fuck, and dude. I'm like fuck, and I didn't put them all in. Like yeah. I didn't get them all in. Oh, but anyway, no, man. whatever. It was a nightmare for a yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. But we had so much fun. We ended up getting a couple kills, like winning yeah, a couple firefights. The best part of the whole thing, because we didn't understand in the moment, but like. There had been a really good team that had been just, like, scourging this fucking round. Like, they just went and beat the other best team, and then they went and beat another really good team. Yeah. And they came across the Try Guys, and we beat them. <laughs> 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 and it was so funny, like, just the timing of that. Wow. But, uh, yeah, it was one of the funnier, more cool things I've gotten to do. Dead Mouse, cool, like, kind of like, I remember th- uh, there was a line where I think it was Zach. He, like, shouted, I'm, I'm all out of bubblegum. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh <laughs> same thing. He's like, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum on I'm all out of bubblegum. There you go. And Dead Mouse said something that was like, "This is the loudest free kills." Yeah, he was like the loudest free kills I've ever heard. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. He <laughs> was like, wasn't wrong. Dead no, Mouse wasn't. was good. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah. His team was good. I think they won the whole thing. He, he's oh. always, you know, he was like one of the first uh, DJs to like. He was on Twitch before it was Twitch when it was Justin TV, and people like. Holy there's shit. a song that um was actually cool. was discovered. Or sorry, there was a guy who had vocals for the song. It's called the Velt V E L D T. Okay. Uh huh. That he just sent in in the chat, and the dude, l- and then Dead Mouse listened to it and was like, "This is I saw it." That, I saw that. And he just like used it, and it's like he's been, he's like yeah, his, definitely was, a gamer. That was so fun. That was a really cool try, guys. I got to sh- like again to Keith and the, the guys of all the try guys credit. Yeah. They've given me some really cool experiences. That's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, like that was one of the cooler ones. We got so to- now you get to do you're doing eat the menu. Yeah. Also. Yeah. And like uh, that's like I mean to those who've never seen it, it's literally just like hey uh you know here's chilies today. Yeah. Just eat the menu. But that's a full ass Get that skillet though. queso. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like I see the. I was like, just knowing from a from a producer standpoint, what it takes to get all that food there, and it needs to be like you guys warm it oh, up. Oh, dude, shit. those guys have a big team. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's like, it's like logistically tough. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought yeah. that. It's not logistically insanely impossible, but yeah. it's definitely those people are working. I mean, the Try Guys have a great staff. Yeah. So like, oh, there's I'm a sure. lot of people running around helping out on that show. And shout out. I mean, like, gotta give credit credit where credit is due to Keith. That format is brilliant. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. it is Absolutely. fucking brilliant what he has done with that idea, and people love it, man. Yeah. I think it's so cool how, like, weirdly, there's like people uh, with like eating disorders that have turned to eat the menu to help them eat while they eat. That is wow. And that is I what never my thought does. about that. That's ever crazy. Until it's Keith like it's like it they attention. they provide such a you guys provide such a friendly like eating experience. So yeah. I never saw it from the wow. outside looking in like that until I was in New York recently doing another project. And I had to miss one, and it was a live. It was like eat the menu. Uh-huh. Like Keith eats live on McDonald's, and I went and got some McDonald's, and I was sitting in like where I was staying, and I ate with them. You know, I was like, oh, this will be a different way of doing oh, it. Oh wow! And I realized like this is really cool. This feels yeah. like I'm eating dinner with you guys. Exactly. And it was fun as fuck from the audience perspective. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, this is so cool. He really got like you could just so pick out the you could see the items that you're you have and then pick them out. Yeah. And then wow. He I really didn't... evolved the mukbang. Yeah. Like yeah. He really and he's got a bunch of cool friends. That are is that how you say it? Because I always thought it was mukbang. I hear mukbang. I hear mukbang. I'm not saying you're like, like yeah, I'm yeah, right, mukbang. but I just was like, yeah. Yeah. please correct me. Yeah. yeah. But mukbang makes sense. The internet. There's just like certain lanes. And food is a huge lane. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I love that people love it, man. And yeah. I think it's so cool. Like, Keith is awesome. He's he's going to be like a next generation's like Conan O'Brien. I could see it. I think I he's, see it. he's that level of skill and like obviously notoriety and shit, but he's so funny and he's so talented. Yeah. And he's well, that, you know what happens once that Keith it becomes the Con- next Conan O'Brien? And he's the next try guy. <laughs> I, I hope I have my own the, movies. The subreddit. I, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I so I used to work at, uh, during the pandemic. I worked as like a fraud reviewer, which mm-hmm. was just like kind of like researching. I remember that. Yeah, I like had to. I, I, I mean, 
I mean, I, I would like lightly like research people and be like, hey, like this John has a Facebook. Mm -hmm. He's probably not scamming. Probably not. But like, oh, this guy, he's got like a gun in his photo and he's showing like a bunch of money, like a hundred dollar oh, bills. My Facebook. Yeah. I should probably <laughs> make sure that he doesn't have any arrests. You yeah, know? yeah, sure, sure. So like, I kind of got good that. at just like you know putting in keywords and stuff to search. Sure. And, and it was like it was hilarious. It was just funny like researching him. I'm going into the Try Guys subreddit and everyone's just like, I love Jared. Yeah. He's the best. He needs to be the. Ne and yeah. there's a best of Jared. Jared, have you seen that video? Uh, yes, I'm that pretty girl sure is cool. it's a that compilation. Cool. Jared, she, just best of Jared. That edits those. The bitch is like, back. She's a you know? try guy fan, and she's a dope editor. Yeah, mm. so really finds the bits and the yeah, gold. When that yeah. got sent to me, that was pretty cool. That would yeah, be yeah cool. I, I really like that. That um, was like the top video. And I'm glad they love me. I love them. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, Shout out to the yeah. fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you love me. I, I mean, like it's cool that I get to show up and just. I think the thing that they like is it's. Me and Keith are real friends. Yeah, yeah. I think so that's it, it, tell. I think it's just not Genuine. we're not fucking no. like pretending. Yeah. Like, off camera, I go eat dinner with Keith a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Probably more than most people. We have a lot of meals together, but like Keith and I go out for a lot of meals together. So we're just real friends and then we do it on camera. That's that that's when it's easy. Yeah. And I think yeah. I think that is I mean, that's kinda what we're doing with John. Like, you yeah. know, it's just like we just connect and it's just like mm -hmm. let's just not put it on and we've done more it. podcasts now than we have had meals though <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, I I say, are you sure that'll change especially I, if you want to go to I pizza cafe that after this guys are amazing like zach guys? and yeah zach yeah. and eugene are incredible 100 yeah. eugene is one of the most artistically like gifted people i've ever met mm -hmm. and zach he just kind of looks like he he just has that art like kind of knack it's like what is he not good at you think yeah, mm, yeah. i don't know yet but zach is also one of the smartest <laughs> people i've ever like when zach talks about art He's coming at it from such a different, like, intellectual mm -hmm. side of it than he I He seems ever more have. of, like, a data-driven, but, like, with art, like, it, it just kind of more, like, technical. He's he's definitely, like, a surgeon with, with story. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like, he uh, he really can pick it apart in a certain way that I'm like, oh, man, I wasn't even seeing it. Like, yeah. He's really smart. Those guys are really good. That's why they are who that's they are. That's why they're working. Yeah, yeah that's why but it works. I, I mean, it's great that, you know, they they tapped you in. And, and honestly, I think, like, the PUBG thing kind of just, like, you, that, that's, that's such a hilarious kind of... Uh, uh, he was a unifying kind of, or you know, where it's like, all right, like this guy is our, our good friend, and he can actually yeah, help us. I was at Keith's love wedding, it. like we yeah. became fast friends. That's great. Keith, Keith and I, and his wife Becky. I mean, like Becky's they're amazing. Best. They're the yeah. Best. yeah, they're really easy to get along with. They're yeah. like my family out here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so try guys, we covered that. Yeah. What is like your like where where what is Jared up to now? Like, what's your next? Like, are you? Is there anything that, you know, A, you want to promote or B, like anything that you like just are like, hey, like I'm like really passionate about this and I hope this, you know. Uh, I have been fortunate in the last several months. Uh, I mean, we were working together on a cool writing gig. I don't yeah. know if we're even allowed to. I think we can. We can? We're out of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, John and I last year spent like 11 and a half months writing for Mr. Beast. Yeah. I mean, that's wild. no joke. Yeah, yeah. And it was actually a lot of fun, man. Like we had a great room of people working on it. I liked the channel. I liked what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. It seemed genuine. Yeah. He was like, we never really had FaceTime with the dude, but yeah. like, how, what a fun job for yeah. 11 months. It was and, really, and it taught me a lot about the like top tier of the internet, I would say. It really, mm. it changed my way of thinking. It really, like, I got paid to train. That shit was crazy. That's it how I It reshaped my mind, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It paid me to learn, yeah. you know, and I was like learning at a high, like this was the NBA level. He just has, he's just one of those people who just has like a different way of thinking that, yeah. you yeah. know, just he's, kinda... I mean, that kid is fucking, not a kid, he's a man, yeah. but he's young and he's yeah. brilliant. 26. Yeah. No, I think he's like 24. So he's Jeez. fucking young, yeah. And he is just unbelievable, dude. So I was stoked yeah. on that job. But since then, I've like gotten fortunate to kind of fall back into like, you know, my dream in life is obviously to be a storyteller. Fuck right? yeah. yeah. So I want to tell stories in all shapes and sizes somehow, or sometimes I'm not as involved as other stories. Maybe I'm just acting in this or maybe I'm just writing for this. But I'm, I'm getting back to that lane and it's Love been it. really, really nice. I've been writing a lot of sketch comedy. Awesome. With Reinecker for another guy right yeah, now. Like, I'm excited for y'all to see. Yeah. Um, and that'll be big and that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, I want to make some movies in the upcoming months with Trev. We're going to yeah, do some man. shorts. Ooh, and, cool. uh, Let's leave. Do some longs. Yeah. Long story. That's longs. why I brought him actually <laughs> off camera. I think you guys need to hang. Oh, dang. The way I felt right. like you and Adam would be cool. Out. This is it. This, like, this, this, this is the beginning. beginning. Yeah. Beginning oh, long. that'll be fun. Beginning of a long. I feel like they were leaning in like they're ready to be like Hall of Notes, like singing. And, so you know, I, I, it's I'm surprised like as as I'm this oats. hasn't happened <laughs> earlier. Trevor's back in town. He's new here in the last year, but like yeah, dude, yeah. this guy is one of the best writers I know. Anyway, I want to get back to writing comedy. I'm excited. Comedy seemed to have gone away in movies for a while. I 100 yeah. percent agree. I just want like a good you know. Rom I think people got a, you know, rightfully so. Paul in the Rudd, time and shit, Judd like, Apatow, and there's no one in the lane. 
Yeah. There's it's no one really, in that lane. Yeah. So it's like, it's I, would, Jared. I would like to at least take a spot in the lane. If there's traffic, so be it. But I'm down to ride in the lane. Just give it a Like, I mean, I just want to get back to writing shit that's funny, you know? And sometimes it doesn't have to be funny. I like telling stories. Yeah. That's really where I'm at with it. I I love that. You sound passionate about that. That's what I do, baby. This out tour. Yeah. It's ready for comedy. I feel like there was, like, the last few years, like, the last five years, all of a sudden, like, probably around 2016, I want to say, like, I feel like we as an American culture felt like, hey, we gotta we gotta grow up a little bit. Yeah. We gotta guys, we gotta take things a little more seriously because things are getting a little out of hand. We gotta grow up. <laughs> and then like the pandemic happened and just yeah. like every other fucking terrible thing that's happened. And I think we're just like, all right. Now like I need to loosen up again. I need to like relax. Yeah. I don't wanna think so much. I wanna enjoy myself. I wanna care about like the I, I'm tired of zooming out. I think the internet makes you zoom out all the time and you're just watching everything from afar, from afar, and it's like yeah. I There's no nuance. Personal, personal and, stories again. I want to just fall into a small moment and, and escape into a world. And know? to be honest, dude, like sometimes you want to be an artist that says something with your piece, which I totally get. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes I want to say something, you know, but other times I just want to say these like jokes. I well, just want to tell you're jokes. Always, I think it's like you're always going to say something. That's yeah. the big problem is like I think a lot of it went to the point of like we have to say something and it came from this point of like I want to make an intellectual point and it's like no, no, no. A story, a piece of art has to come from an emotional place first. And it's like, I want to go on this ride. When you go on that emotional ride, you're going to end up saying some things. Like, yeah. And you'll yeah. be able to find that on the road. But commentary. But when you go into it with, like, the intellectual I don't know. person, it fucks it I think we're all worried about being offended and being and offending. But, I, dude, I think hopefully we get a little bit loosened up on that as everybody. I hope life gets easier for but those people. I just want to learn people's perspective a lot of times. And yeah. sometimes, like, it, you know, if I uh, say, oh, like, I think one time I was, like, talking to a, a, a black guy and i was like oh nice cornrows or whatever and he was like no they're dreads or whatever and it's like i don't know that like uh, yeah you said that and now i realize that you're right so it's like a specific this isn't exactly what i was talking about earlier but it's kind of similar of what we were mentioning in, in our in the house earlier of like with anyone i think you should just lead with authenticity yeah you should be an authentic individual you should know yourself and you should, like if you have a if you're a good person which you are and you are like lead with that you're authentically not trying you're not trying anything but to be good and if you are and then you and learn when you when you might overstep or make a mistake or whatever with and it's okay no matter who you're talking to like as long as you're being authentic and not trying to fuck with someone or hurt somebody like it's gonna be okay and i think uh yeah, I think hopefully just society can like loosen up to get some of these comedy fucking movies out soon. Yeah, I want to tell some jokes. Baby. Yes, I want to awesome. make some weird characters that have a story for two hours, and you laugh, and then you go home and have a good night of sleep. Awesome. Uh, okay, <laughs> that that was great. I appreciate that. We have two quick things. Yeah. Uh, do you have the uh the photo? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Did you send that to me? I think I okay, hope so. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. I don't think I think I only. Oh got no! The, well, here. Um, it's uh, my, your phone's right here. I ran into Adam last night at the bar. Oh wow! So that's why I thought I, thought I they knew were all, that I was gonna see him. Oh, okay. I, I was I was out. I was at a Joyland uh, yeah. movie, and then I was just like, we didn't text. He just found <laughs> I just me. was like, <laughs> they're gonna be there. They yeah. went to the improv. I feel like this feels like a five one three night. Yeah, and I was yeah, yeah. just like, because I was like, I was coming home at we went we ended up going to Mr. Chow. Oh, you did? Yeah, and like. They have one of the best dishes I've ever oh, had. Mr. Crispy beef. Great. Like I was, I oh, was. That sounds like, so LA's good. He's got some incredible oh, man. food spots, man. Yeah, 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 burgers never say I die. I was pretty impressed with some Tampa f- food, though. Like I, like Tampa? what I had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tampa's sure. actually been like kind of. Yo, did you the... get to go to the Salvador Dali Museum? No, I did not, bro. I only oh, had three days yeah. there, man. Like, if you're ever in Tampa, I'm going back you. again next year. Well, spoilers, I'm probably gonna be there again next year. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> go. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Salvador Dali Museum. I just went for the first time recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, is it? Even a museum is kind the of the fact that exhibit. that was you only recommended me two things. That was the top of the list was a Salvador Dali Bro, Museum. Yeah, so much fucking fun. Yeah, and it's kind of breathtaking. Yeah, oh, like fuck. some of his that. work is like unbelievable. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. a lot of his work is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of it's unbelievable in size. Yeah. So you, I just, just airdrop. airdrop sorry. Me. Yeah. So you walk, you walk into some of these parts of the exhibit, and you just see how big this fucking amazing masterful Bro, got piece canceled. of art. The airdrop got canceled. No. Can you just show them on your computer? <laughs> yeah, show me on the phone. But I mean, how do I like, how do we show that? I wanted to show that picture. Yeah, I'll just send me the picture oh, later yeah, and I'll put I, it in the edit. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Podcasting. Podcasting. There you go. Behind the scenes. I'm a boomer. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. Look at that I, found, I found this ha- headshot. Oh. From, uh, I that 
So get yeah. this. That, got, that that's our hand. buddy Jeff. <laughs> yeah. And that's in Trevor's alley when I'm 19 years old. And that's Jeff is Trevor's old roommate. I'm holding the poster board. Yeah. Wow. So you were there too. Bounce. Trevor was there for that. Wow. Yeah, that was when I, Jeff was doing That's when I was 19. I, I was young, man. I was hot. <laughs> no, nah, you, you still got it, bro. You you look like you know who you look like the the uh, one of the leads from The Good Wife. Uh, wow. I don't know, but, but I'll um, take that. Elite? Yeah, fuck it. Elite. <laughs> no, it was it was a. Uh, I mean, he blonde hair. Uh, he was a lawyer. He was I just mean, like I'll always kind of slick. Like uh, you kind of kind of look like that dude. He was like kind of smooth. Dude, uh, <laughs> the lead wife. The lead. Wife. I'll take that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, so that I'm getting anime shit when I put in the lead wife. So no, the good wife. The good the wife. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Let's yeah, go. let's not go down the wrong to take a wrong turn on the internet. Let me check out that show though. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Here you go. Uh, there's there seems like a full cast roster. This is this is legit. I'm gonna like edit. Wow, this how's out. that guy not even on the cat on the like? Bro, he's, he's not like even a main. Sixth man. He's not even a main. Damn, this dog. is some BS. Hopefully, I'm on the main Damn. poster when I get there. <laughs> here we go. It's this guy over here. Oh God! This is the worst picture ever. Uh, it's like it's like uh, I you know I play poker for a lot of money. I've you know and and I feel like I like the adrenaline. I can rise to the occasion, but having to Google something no. on a live podcast. Yep, can't oh, do that. It's fucking. Fuck. I'm like ah, sweating bullets. Sweating yeah. bullets. Yeah. I'm actually been chilling. This is fun. this is fun. Yeah, man. I hope you guys. I hope you guys go for a hundred million episodes. Wow, that's a lot. That might be too many. That's, That's a lot. I'm down, though. I hope you go. This okay, guy, you're down? Yeah. You kind of look like that guy in that. Uh, I have never seen that guy before. Let me see. I do, do kind of see look it. Like, I see the vibe. I yeah, see the vibe. That guy. He kind of yeah. looks like him a little bit. Mm. Uh, I, I get yeah. it. There you yeah. go. Fuck it. He's a lead. Yes. And uh, Allegedly. So the last Who's thing. Who's your celebrity? Uh, <laughs> like, do you ever get told, like, you look like someone? Um, Occasionally, Tom Segura. Uh, oh, I can kind of see it. A little bit with the I beard and stuff. I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. I think like way back in the day, it was but I like, feel like a beard is like if you have a beard. I know, yeah, like, you oh, have you a beard. Like yeah, you're you're Tom Segura. I wish yeah. I could. Uh, someone once thought that I had mannerisms like Tim from like uh, I like. Are you sure about that? You know the uh, the Tim is it Tim Reynolds? Tim Robinson. Tim Robinson. Tim Robinson. <laughs> he thought the guy was like you remind me of. Like you have manners of a crazy like, person. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Thank you, Tim Robinson is That's a goat. Great. Yeah, dude, that guy's a goat. When we were in Chicago, the back Detroiters in the day, too. I would like finish class and run downstairs. Like, so the building at IO, you'd have classes upstairs. Back in the old IO, yeah, yeah, you'd yeah. Have classes upstairs, and they'd be doing cool shows downstairs and upstairs. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But on Tuesdays back in the day, Tim Robinson was on an improv team called Cook County Social mm -hmm. Club, and I used to fucking like run from class which wasn't a far run but like as fast as i could to get a good seat downstairs to catch tuesday nights with cook county because tim was uh, i mean the whole phenomenal. team mm -hmm. phenomenal yeah they're like some of my biggest improv inspiration for Those sure for sure are the best he's hilarious and yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. every so often it'll just pop up like the one meme that i just see is are you sure about that are you sure <laughs> and so it's just like it, it's so applicable too that's for great real. <laughs> he really dances a line and that i don't think a lot of people can do of like crazy but makes it so fucking funny. Mm. yeah it, like he is so good at it. He's like a off the walls. What the hell is this guy gonna do? Like kind of what we talked about earlier with bad yeah. improvisers. Yeah. But it's like so weirdly controlled and oh, wow. chaos. It's amazing. Controlled chaos is intense. And it's, yeah. I feel like it's one of those things where you kind of have to rewatch a, a few times to before you're like, wow, this is like I, you get it initially. And you might find it funny, but then like there's so much like kind of going on. Or I mean, dude, like he is on fire right now. That sketch show is unbelievable. Yeah, and Detroiters should not have stopped. Yeah, Detroiters. I watched like the first four episodes. I was on a plane and I kind of forgot about it, but I should. <laughs> oh, it's like, so good, dude. I should get back to that it. The show is so good. All right. And then the last thing, then we can, you know, uh, Wrap it up, I. Man. I discovered that I like buying gifts for people. Oh, like you know, like it's kind of like yeah, I'm a good gift giver. Yeah. So I uh, figured, you know, for maybe we'll try to make it for each podcast wow. guest. Uh, I get a little gift. No and, way. Look under your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for me? Yeah. No way. It was yeah. right in front of you this whole time. Right under my nose. Yeah. Right there. Literally. A I good know. gift. Yeah. Dude. Kitchen Confidential. <laughs> this is a great gift. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great gift. An Anthony Bourdain book. Wow. I fucking loved, love Anthony Bourdain, mm -hmm. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. That This is awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Did he not pass when is we it? were filming That's the Poker Go thing? 
Really? I don't know. This is, so I'm being told this is the book that broke in Anthony Bourdain. No, no this one. Like a writer. This was his com- yeah, it was yeah this was like the, the like big one. My, I mean, I know him from Parts Unknown. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've never read the book, but my stepdad would always like just like recite like certain things from this book. So yeah, I need a new book. Him, write, him writing well, that book is what gets him the travel shows, right? It's that book where he becomes a number one best-selling author. And then it's from there. That Have you read really, this? Yeah, I, I love that book. Right this is a that. great gift. So I, a lot of my reading I get done, and I think you know this about me. I'm one to know. I have to change it now because it's not, it's no longer applicable. But for a lot of my life, I was always like super anxious about being late to things. So I'd get there too early. Oh yeah, sure. And in LA, you don't want to like show up too early. You yeah. Know? So, and I haven't been doing this for a while because now I'm just too busy and I actually do just show up right on time yeah. to things. But, um, I used to like be in my car on the like oh I'm at an audition in thirty minutes but yeah. I'm already here so yeah. I'll just stay in the car and I'll read. Oh yeah, uh, see a lot I, of my reading. I would done. do that before a gig, but I'd just smoke a J. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one of the first gigs I ever worked with John. Not first gigs actually. Uh-huh. Remember the uh, Star Wars thing we made? Oh yeah, man. Dude, I'll never forget the day you showed me that dab pen. Oh, I had never yeah. seen a dab pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't it a regular pen. It ripped me. Yeah. What's I'm a directing. dad pen? So there's, so there's, you've seen like those vapes, right? That have weed juice in it, basically. Yeah. So that's like a completely different type of concentrate than a dab. Like a dab oh, is Oh, a like, dab. Oh yeah, my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you said dad yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like. Sorry, dab pen. dab pen. But he had a pen that did dabs. Oh no. Yeah, so yeah, I was no. like, how, how strong could it be? It's a pen, you know? Yeah. I ripped this thing. I am so fucking high. And I'm you can like, probably see it on the footage. And know? I'm like, oh shit. And then that day I'm like directing, so I have to like be there. But honestly, it was an easy gig. Yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah. watching people watch Star movie. Wars. Still, yeah. I, but it uh, was crazy. I was like, dog, how did you? And you were just ripping it. I'm like, John's a beast. <laughs> John, you're a beast. Sometimes, man. I got a high tolerance. I'm very tolerant. You still smoking? Of course, of course. <laughs> I don't really smoke anymore. I just uh, like microdose and stuff, and mm. don't really drink. But I do want to get a non-alcoholic sponsor because Let's I think that those beverages Dude, are going to start sh- popping off. Like you, just like in general, I call them nannies. Nannies, nannies are oh, cool. Yeah. Like that. I, they sh- somebody should co-opt this. This is something I made up randomly. But when you're drinking like a non-alcoholic, I'm like, oh, you having a nanny? Yeah, yeah a like you need yeah. like a, like a high noon. You, like they all need like nicknames. Or We're gonna something, make that you know? yeah, like like a brewski. Right? Like a non-alcoholic is it not like a mocktail, but like isn't like it's got THC or some kind of neurotropic. No, not gonna, not yeah. THC. No, like yeah, well, neurotropics so gonna, and CBD and stuff. But THC, like I, for, I, not for you. It, yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I feel like that's like a different category because that's yeah, maybe not for me. But, but yeah, the nannies are cool as fuck. You should definitely get a nanny sponsorship. Yeah. I think that would do well. What's your favorite nanny? Ooh, fuck. I'm kind of discovering them right now. Yeah, I don't yeah, really okay. know yet. I had a, I've had a Kins, which are good, and yeah, then I wow. have a few others. An ex right. of mine got into it when she was like, you know, sober, and she was drinking non-alcoholic beers. And yeah. I, the, the ones that she got, I can't remember what the fuck they're called. Got it, got it. Know. But I think like a move is just getting like like a brand going now, because Cali's like starting. I feel, I'm going to like it's Air One. And yeah. The, yeah. yeah, I want to do a water company. Let's do it, man. Actually, uh, Ape Water, Board Ape, like oh, wow. uh, I they have, have a, water now. They have a, well, yeah. As a, uh, I, I met I met the guy a couple times, and like he has like they started. They just kind of did what Liquid Death did. Really, mm-hmm. and uh, they just have like you can get your own ape on the can, uh, or like every so often cool. they'll do well, like you a can raffle. Use your ape for anything, right? Yeah, yeah. they have like the their commercial rights and stuff that's cool man that's pretty sick yeah, yeah i, I want to do water that. eventually i'm a big water person water's great get yeah. that spring I'm a kind of a water snob though. pop tops pop tops oh hey wait now. do you like essentia do i like what essentia water no bro if you don't know what essentia is. I, I know <laughs> what essentia is. I, I, I heard that apparently something else uh, no. essentia is good fuck essentia <laughs> Well, apparently the pH level thing is like is kind of fake, like dog. is yeah it's well, a little bit of I don't know about yeah, all that yeah yeah they put baking soda in I that tomfoolery <laughs> essential would be like uh, it's not my go to water oh I feel you I feel you so my go to water is oh, Fiji. it's about taste Fiji I feel that Fiji and Evian I used to hate Aquapana. Arrowhead. I'm sure Arrowhead is huh. only like an LA thing Arrowhead is trash I used to fucking hate that as a kid like I remember I was like fucking like complaining about like oh, it's so dry it's so hot and then my friends like I have water and it's Arrowhead I'm like. I'm good. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm, you know, when you're running sets and you have to have crafty yeah. and shit, I don't allow people to pick up Arrowhead. You're the best, bro. <laughs> <Is> that, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh hey. no. I think it's a really bad look. 
like I don't want to give you the shittiest. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want to give you the shittiest water. I like these little toys, though. Yeah, I figured I'd bring. It I mean, brings character to the office. Yeah, you I know, prefer like, the generic brand versus uh, Arrowhead, bro. I'm definitely a Fiji guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aquapana. Aquapana is great. That's the glass bottle. Oh my yeah. god. You know there is a uh, TikTok guy. He's like from Romania who specialized in finding the best. He's just a water guy. What and the all fuck? he does Bring is he'll go next time. So I let know. me tell you a trick I told Trevor the other day. The reason I got into Fiji, and I think it's well worth the money yeah. to have Fiji for me. Pers- uh-huh. This is a uh-huh. personal thing. One, it's taste, obviously. And two, if I was ever having like anxiety or stress, if I'm working too hard, if I'm not working hard enough, and I'm having a little bit of a panic attack, which not happened recently at all. That's great. But used to happen. Yeah. I'd be like freaking out and I'd grab a Fiji and then I'd go to the mirror and I'd look at myself and like, look how silly you look having a panic attack about nothing while you're drinking Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> and it really helped. <laughs> so for those who are not wow. where they want to be yet, trick it I'm with I'm buying Fiji. some fucking Fiji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiji should sponsor me, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's lavish. Like you look, it's like That's nice, commercial. the blue. Life can't the... be that bad. Yeah. You know, you're drinking whatever Fiji. you're freaking out yeah. about, you're drinking Fiji water. Yeah. Bro. yeah. And it really helped me like calm wow. down. That that's a that's an ad campaign right there. So, there you go. We bam! Got get at me, Fiji. Fiji, you can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Jared. I feel like uh, we covered all me, the bases. Hey, man, this was super here. fun. I'm sure I'll be back. One hundred. Yeah. No. This. Yeah. This is because uh, I want you to talk about Wanna Do City next time. Wanna Do City. Because his city. rant about Wanna Do City made me in love with Wanna Do City. I don't know what Wanna Do Ex- City we'll is. Save it for next episode. We'll pin that one. And anybody from fucking South Florida will be like. Want to do city? What's up? From a certain timeline. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I wasn't in that timeline. I'm yeah. like. I think I'm you like... had to be like a little older than me and a little younger than me to catch it. And That's I'm crazy. Thirty two. So there you go. There you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> awesome. Well, Jared, let's. Uh, Boys. I mean, thank you yeah. so much for coming on. Absolutely. I appreciate thank this. Thank you for having me. Of course. And uh, yeah, this was super fun. This was Love long it. story long. Yes. All right. Peace. Peace. Bye.